now the stream has begun! You took away my wedding I had the mouse set up so perfectly and you moved it! I've got Anna behind scenes. Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and I'm streaming Valhalla tonight. But of course, as is the tradition in my own personal apartment abode, I have to start drinking first. Yes. No. Yes! It's cocktail time. It's indeed cocktail time. I hope everybody's doing wonderful tonight. I'm doing wonderful tonight. I was sick the past couple of weeks, but I feel much better now. And now that my body has finished recovering, I can start doing terrible things to it again, like putting foreign chemicals inside of it. And in the spirit of that, I'm just gonna get started because I haven't wet my gullet like this in at least two weeks, so. All of my cocktails tonight come from this book called 1001 Cocktails, which as I described before, I found on the street somewhere and I've been happy ever since. The first cocktail that I am making is the blue category. Why is it blue? Well, that was the color that I had to mark it with. It is the Watusco Whammer. It's a quote from the book. To be authentic, this cocktail should be topped up with Coca-Cola, but you can use other brands of cola if you prefer. Make sure that the cola is well chilled before adding it. I don't follow rules. The cola's been sitting next to my foot all day long. It is very lukewarm. But you know what is not lukewarm? The ice that I put inside of it and will crack inside of it. Basically, the Huatisco Whammer reminds me a lot of the Long Island iced tea and that it's the bastard child of a bunch of different types of cocktails. They all went to a party somewhere, had a big ol' orgy, and then the Long Island iced tea popped out. A subsection of the orgy participants went to a different party, also got down and dirty, and then popped out the Huatisco Whammer. Huatusco. H-U-A-T-U-S-C-O. Whammer. As in wham! The band. You know, like, wake me up before you go-go? Anyway... I've danced for long enough, honestly. I think I'm just gonna get started over here. The Quatisco Whammer calls for many different types of ingredients that I'm going to throw into... It says shake? Does it say shaku? It says shaku. Well, I got a couple of ice cubes here that I will shake you. And that's what I'll start with. It got me confused. It says crushed ice, and then it says shake, and I'm like, I right, make up your mind, stupid drink. I love how your stream says I'm not watching you, but I am. I'm sorry? It, like, doesn't have White any tequila. chat. That's hilarious. To start off with, the Huatisco of the Whammer, and it's tequila. It says use a white tequila. I don't have a white tequila. I haven't been able to go to the store, so you get what you get. It's one ounce, or one measure. The book goes by measures. It doesn't need to. I'm not paying attention. That's one measure of that into my shaker. I almost poured tequila all over my bar setup, which is a little lower than it was last week. Sorry, but it's still plaid. That I won't apologize for. The next ingredient is half a measure of white rum. <laughs> you know it. It's Bacardi. It always is. It's always Bacardi. Why? It will never not be Bacardi because this is the same. In the past, let's see, I am 23 right now. The past two years, and only two years, of me cocktail shaking, I did one big liquor run to the store to get everything I could possibly need for cocktails to start with, all your base spirits and whatnot. And this is the same bottle of Bacardi I've had for two years. Luckily, it's alcoholic. It ain't going bad anytime soon. That's gross. It's not going bad anytime soon. In any case, that's my white rum. It's the Bacardi. I, I honestly couldn't describe rum to you even if I wanted to. A measure of vodka. The cheap shit. Because that's what I've got. I bought two bottles of these, two bottles of this 360 for like $25 total. So, it's cheap. And it tastes bad. It tastes bad. But it's going with a bunch of other things, so, you know, Bastard Child has its day. Anyway, that's a half an ounce of that. Where did I put my... Oh, there's no top to this because it's on the bottle. I got myself confused. The next ingredient calls for half a measure of gin. It's the only gin that I have right now. Blue coat. Usually I'd go for a nice bee feeder, but again, haven't been able to go to the store. I like the blue bottle. Blue is one of my favorite colors, especially this nice royal blue. I mean, come on, look at that, look at that thing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful blue. And it looks nice, and then I realize it's not vodka. Thank you, thank you, commentary from behind the screen. She's in my normal spot, because my desk is over there. In any case, the next ingredient is half a measure of triple sec. Now, I got this right before I was not allowed to go outside again, so I have a bottle of that triple sec it's orangey i don't know why they call it triple sec maybe 
double sec and regular sec just didn't sound interesting. Frankly, don't sound very interesting to me. Because you always get it on the third try? I always get it on the third. Hey, is that a diss? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 please explain yourself. What don't I get until the third try? No, I'd that's just the usual. Third time's the lucky time. Anyway, we're moving on. I don't care. I don't want to know about it. I'm not going to take the heat any longer. I take a measure of lemon juice. I have a lemon. You take a measure lemon. of heat, apparently. Measure of heat. That's what I do. Measure of lemon juice heat. The heat. The light. The heat. I am complete. I see the doorways of a thousand churches. I don't know. Whatever gets me an ounce. Lemon juice. I'm not going to do this over my phone. I'm just going to do it over top of the cocktail shaker. No, do it over your phone. No, thanks. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Fun. Come on. Squeeze it all out. That got me about half an ounce. Wow, that was off key. That wasn't my fault. That's because Anna was helping me. Excuse you. It's totally your fault. It's not my fault. I blame you for anything I want and then deal with the consequences later. All right. The next half an ounce coming from the other tiny half of the orange. Orange? Lemon? Lemon. There we go. That's about an ounce. Honestly. Lemons are rather potent. It doesn't need more than that. Oh, let me give a little extra juice in there. That's my lemon juice. What else? What else? What else? There's more. Half a teaspoon of sugar syrup. Now, this recipe calls for sugar syrup in general. It doesn't say simple syrup. So, it's not simple at all. It's spice syrup from two weeks ago. It's got, like, clove in it. It's got all spice in it. It's got... I can't... I can't open the container. Oh, no. I need the... Nope, I got it. I was gonna say, I might have to go get the rubber glove. Oh, there's a bunch of lemon juice on my phone. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's lemon juice. Anyway, half an ounce of that. Phone? I did just look my phone. Oh, my God. What it's my phone. Time you washed your phone. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean the last time I washed my phone? I wash my phone every week. Just like every man does his clothes. I hope. Please wash your clothes. At the very least, if you're not going to wash your clothes, wash your body and get new clothes. I had a friend that did that once. Instead of what? washing her clothes, she decided to go to Five Below, juice. bought herself Alrighty an outfit for the then. next day so she didn't have to wash it until the next day. And now that those few ingredients are in the glass, we do the shaker. I love the shaker. I didn't need to whack it like that. The shaker. <laughs> Only I think this is cool. I'm the only one who thinks this is cool. I'm totally okay with that. It looks really awkward, honestly. Of course it does. That's because I'm not doing it suave-like. I don't know where you got this definition of suave. Again, I'm accurate. the only person who thinks I'm cool. And I'd like it to stay that way. It then gets strained. Strained. Vigorously shake over ice until frosted. Strain the cocktail, yes. But I have to I have to crack these ice cubes into the glass. I've never done that before because my ice cubes aren't big enough. I see you laughing, Oreo. And I'm okay with it. I am here for your entertainment. I'm so, scared. This is how you crack an ice cube. I have a bar spoon. I have an ice cube. Pressure. Whoa! That one's flying. All right, well. Please don't break the room. Actually, it went straight into my 3D printer. All right, that's, that's pretty crushed. All right, now I'm going to do the next one. That's shake. That's another couple of little things. Ooh, it sunk to the bottom of my uh, my uh, my glass. Ah! There we go. It's all in there. That's cracked ice. My phone is very wet now. I'm gonna take the phone and put it over here, and then take my. Oh, wait a minute. I can take my wet self and dry it because I have a bartender towel. You know, it's what people do. Excuse me. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was disgusting. Anyway, I got my cracked ice in the glass. It now says to strain it into there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna get to the I'm gonna get to the point. I'm gonna get to the point. What? Camera gets to the point. Wait, what was this drink again? I forgot. This is the Huatusco Whammer. Okay. The bastard child of a different subset of cocktails that may or may not have been at the same party as the Long Island iced tea. Or the parents of the Long Island iced tea. This is what I'm calling it. Anyway, and then it gets topped up with cola. By the way, I think that cola's flat. Whatever. It's cola. 
Just because it's flat cola don't mean it's not not cola. Anyway, I filled it up. Woo! Now, I love this. This particular garnish. The book says garnish with straws. Not straw, not a straw, straws. You're not. So I have a bunch of bendy straws. Okay. They're all different colors. Let me tell you a story about my bendy straws. Once upon a time, I was a young, aspiring academic scholar of the high school in New Jersey, and they said, you are going to build a bridge out of straws. And I thought, where the hell am I going to get enough straws for a bridge that can oh support God, a kilogram of weight? That. So my mother, wonderful saint, went to Burger King. No, she went to Wendy's. She went to Wendy's. She went and to Burger Wendy's King. And, and Burger McDonald's. King. Basically all, all the, the local food. all the local fast food places and asked every one of them, hey, my son's doing a physics project. He needs straws. Can you give us some straws? And lo and behold, I think it was Wendy's or one of the whatever has the multicolored straws. We're like, education for the children? Absolutely. Here's thousands of straws, bags full of these multicolored I think straws. She still has some of the Wendy's straws. She probably does, and I have a bunch of them too. So now I have all these straws and nothing to use them with. So I will add the Wendy straws. I thought she bought though. Potentially, I don't remember. One straw, bend it. Two straw, bend it. Bend first, then add. Bend first, then add. We gotta change things up around here. Yeah, I feel like who didn't do the, the like the straw, Me. the straw bridge in high school? Well, that's because you're special. Now, funny thing about my straw bridge in in general is the fact that I actually did it with my buddy Final Rhapsody, who I was streaming with the other day. We called our bridge Stabby Bridge because we put our bridge together with straws and push pins. And naturally, if a straw is this. This little big and a push pin's like this big, you're gonna have a couple of loose ends. Anyway, introducing the Hotusko Wemmer. You only drank out of one straw? There's four straws in that thing! Thank you! <laughs> Holy crap, wow, that spice syrup really comes through. That's really powerful. Perhaps I should have backed up on that. That makes such a difference! Holy cow! It tastes like. Spiced Coca-Cola. Yo, has anybody ever tried, first of all, Pepsi Fire, disgusting, downvote. The Coca-Cola one with the cinnamon, that was pretty good. I remember that. Does it taste suave? Does it taste suave? Wait, 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 I'll answer that question with a sound. Oh yeah, suave, very tasty. Excuse me. I like that, yeah. Yeah, whoa, my table is moving. Woo! I got two tables over here. Anyway, this was the Watusko Hammer Whammer for all those who popped in a little late. Allow me to repeat the instructions for you. That's one ounce of white tequila. I used Calvados. It's a reposado, but it, it is what I got. A half a measure of white rum. Bacardi. Vodka. The cheap stuff, which is another half ounce. A half ounce of gin. I use blue coat because it's blue and I have it. Half a measure of triple sec. It's... It's, it's, the, it's the regular triple sec. It's the Kuiper. The Kuiper. The Kuiper. That triple sec. A measure of lemon juice from the lemon. Half a teaspoon of sugar syrup. Not simple sugar. So, yeah. Not simple sugar syrup. It just said sugar syrup. So I use the spice stuff. It's got like allspice and clove and stuff in it. I don't know. I did that last week. That was fun. Cracked ice cubes. And then you top it all up with cola. You shake everything together first before you add the cola. Then you crack the ice in the glass. Then you top it up with the cola. And then you add... I guess as many straws as you want to. Um, you only put four? Oh my god, as many straws as I want to. Excuse me for a moment. Oh dear lord. I'm gonna get more straws. I told you I had thousands of straws. I don't think we have thousands of straws. We don't have thousands of straws, but I think I have just enough to make a point. There we go. There's a whole handful of straws. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's some pink ones in here. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Oh dear god. Anyway. Do we have any more straws after that? Oh, we still have more. Anyway, garnish with straws. Not straw, straws. There we go. Now you're sure with all your... Oh, some of the bendy sides are down. Well, some of them will bend. I present to you all, my fellow audience, the Hotusko Whammer with straws. It tastes like the simple syrup. It's very spiced and whatnot. <laughs> I'd say it's... Honestly, I can't really pick up any other spirits in general. I taste the orange in there and the sourness from the lemon juice. So I'd say it tastes mostly of the triple sec, the cola, the spiciness of the spiced sugar syrup, and and the lemon. And I like it. And those are my tasting notes, which, by the way, I'm going to go back later and put those into my recipe book because I'm not going to do it now. Anyway. 
usually talks into his phone for that. I do, I do. Oh, this is a very wet phone. Oh my god, stop licking the phone! It tastes like lemons, it ain't no problem. Oh. Ain't no big thing if you don't got it this way. Give me that phone, I'm washing it. No, thank you. Yes, please. Anyway, I'm about to switch to the other side. Uh, this may take me a little moment, so please bear with me. I don't have the best setup for this. Anna, would you mind taking this ring and putting it over there? Mm -hmm. And then taking my phone and doing whatever it is that you do with my phone. I'm going to fix your phone so you stop licking. Hello, face. Anyway, time to unplug this microphone. Be back in a moment. Everybody wondering at home, to everybody curious, Anna has washed my phone. I don't know how she did it. I don't want to know how she did it. You use water, Anyway, my name's you? Cameron. Time to whoop that and why would you use water on a piece of electronic, dude? Well, put it on use a rubbing towel. alcohol. Use the... Fine, use rubbing give back alcohol. your damn phone. No, no, use don't touch alcohol. my phone. No, please don't do that. Anyway, we're back over shit. here. Wow, that light is incredibly bright. Let's fix that. That's a really bright light. I'm not sure if I like that bright light that's blinding my face face. Bright light, bright, bright, light, light, face, face. Yeah, that's unpleasant. Let's turn that down a little bit. But how down? It's at 44%. Let's do... Nope, that's brighter. <gasps> Let's do 26 and make it... Oh, that's red. Whoa, that's not good at all. Maybe I should have y'all control this. I know there's ways to do that. Anyway, here we are. What is up, everybody? Hello, sup to you, dude, Dark t Techie, Eric. What is up to you, dude, Oreo? You, dude, Anna, who's in other room? You, dude, Haunted. Hello, everybody. It's a wonderful day. I'm a j Would you like to be Dudette? Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Dudette the Disney Queen. Anyway, I have to put my headphones on because I can't hear a damn thing. Anyway, we're back. Ready for battle. And I... Can I hear anything? I can hear things. Love that. You're messing with the un I I'm guessing you, E4, me refers to the Unreal Engine. Or perhaps it's the very real Unreal Engine, because I know the Unreal Engine absolutely exists. Anyway, I'm playing Valhalla tonight for those who came for the game. Anyway, here we go. It is night 16, I believe, right now. It is night 16. And I have four more nights left, corresponding to four more cocktails. What's this go whammer? Wow, that looks weird from over here. Isn't that insane looking? That's a lot of straws. Now I just have to pick one or a few to drink out of. Yep. That'll be a challenge in, in and of itself. Anyway, we're back into it. There we go. All of them? Why not all of them? Many straws. So many straws. Well, the cocktail said garnish with straws, and it didn't specify how many, but it certainly didn't specify just one, so... <laughs> I, I had to. I had to. Oh, it's since that the... It seems that the augmented eye has some new stuff from last time. How could it? I read it all last time. The final remaster leads no... Oh, uh, I don't know. Was that the new one? That was the new one. I apparently didn't read that. So I'm gonna read that. Um, consume! With all of the... As many of the straws as I can. That was really uncomfortable. That was just a lot of allspice flavors in my mouth. Oh, ooh, that was a lot. Yeah, ooh, that was that was something. <clears throat> anyway, shake it off, shake it off. Y2K, the final remaster, leads the video game charts by Lana Smithy. The newest remaster of 2016's Y2K, a postmodern RPG, opens the charts this week with 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Other titles this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku Project Remaster and Sting's Face Remastered. Sing for you! I need to set my timer to, let's say, I don't know. Hey Google, wake me up in four and three quarters of a minute. Will you do that for me? Hey, oh, it worked! Other uh, titles this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku Project Remaster and Strings Face Remastered. Full chart including lifetime sales, Y2K, the final remaster, 3.5 million new. 
Hatsune Miku Project Remaster, 1.5 million new. Stinks Face Remaster, 950k lacking new. Water Pro Wrestling G, 500k, 950k. Not so new. Dang it, Ron. Rune Paul. Rune Paul. Rune Paul! 400k, 1.2 million. I don't know if that's good or bad. Jill says this is the third final this year. That's wonderful. Anyway, back to the actual gameplay. Maybe I'll go to the shop. What will I buy for myself? The worms of capitalism have entered my brain. That's a that's a TikTok thing. I forgot I can't speak normally because I'm singing. How about oh this picture of a model? I love it. Toy tur no, that's expensive. I have to conserve my wallets. Why would I not? Rent is due on the 30th. Oh shit, I needed to conserve money. Story of my life. Whoops. Oopsie. Oh no, time to go to work. Time to mix drinks and change lines. That vibrato was rather uncomfortable for everybody except for me. Good evening. Ah, Jill, I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers. It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the duh? Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings fades away. Anyway, let's start. Town to the jukebox. Everything's fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Go for it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Yeah. Shut up. By any chance, did someone fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made that noise. Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. So it remained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity. But, yeah. Distance explosions all night. Interesting. So it didn't get far anyway. Hmm. Um. Now get me a Mars Blast. A Mars Blast for the guy that wouldn't come back twice. What kind of flavor is a Mars Blast? I know it starts with the letter M. Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, four. One, two. That means the sing time is up. I can complete that. I like to sing. I like to sing. I like to dance. Mars Blast for the guy who wouldn't come back to wise. All blended, it seems. All right, I can blend that. Did I put all the ingredients in? I think I did. A shake, 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 Mars Blast for you. Or should I have made it a double? I'm gonna actually, hmm. I don't think I can. It's already over 10. I don't think I can. Here you go. Here's your Mars Blast. Here you go. Here's your Mars Blast. Well, you didn't mess it up. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Uh, most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? Wow, that music got epic. That's crazy. How about that one for a little bit? You really think you'd stand a chance? Look at this! Look at this guy! Look at his buff arms! One of his arms are totally made of metal. You think you can do that? Then again, you've got like these metal rivets in your neck, and he's got metal rivets all up his arm. Man, what kind of steroids do I have to take for that? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. Mm. I can fight dirty. 
Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right. Sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this suplex thing. Right, and let's make it a double. Because I hate you, and I'm sure you hate yourself. I don't hate you. Don't hate yourself. I was talking to the guy in the game. He doesn't matter. He's not real. Or does he matter because he's not real, and he's actually a reflection of the people in our own existence? Ooh. Questions of philosophy. Questions that only people drunk at a speakeasy would wind up asking. Are video games really video? Are they really virtual? Or perhaps... Are they quite real and non-virtual? Double suplex for you! Here you go, Jill. Oh, here you go, Ingram. I say here. I, Jill. I, Jill. You, Ingram. You take, drink, consume. Good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at, hmm. Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced right out of you. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. I'm gonna double you up again. Let's give him a gut punch. Again. That didn't sound right. Bitter? Bitter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm making it big. Optional karma train. I could serve it just like this, but I won't. I am not the model to fi to follow. I'm not the model to follow. When serving drinks for your guests, watch and see how drunk they are. If they seem a little too over the top, maybe you dial them back a little bit. Or call them a ride home. Give their Uber. 80? Did I give you the right drink? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours, though. I had a little couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of the enhancements. Were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much-needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. Oh, I'll count on it. You've said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you called him on a bad day. Mm, I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. That guy tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. 
Give me a bad touch, will ya? That way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> Pfft, funny, bad touch. Super funny name. Bad touch, like like Tiki with the, the sexy jokes and whatnot. It's funny. Bad touch. Bad touch. One, two. You know what? Everybody's getting doubles tonight. You get a double, you get a double. Uh everybody who can get a double will get a double, except for me. I don't think I can handle that. Not right now. I had a couple of pieces of pizza before this, so maybe I can handle it, but alas, we shall have to see. Bad touch. Bad touch all the time. Why do I get no doubles? Because nothing really calls for a double, and I don't need that much alcohol in my body. I just need more straws. <coughs> that doesn't go down right when you drink with all the straws. <coughs> yeah, that's weird. That's odd. That's just add maybe one too many straws. Only one too many. Here. Jill, you have a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. So, what puts you in a good mood? I'm gonna lower my lights a little bit. It's a little bright over here. Yes. What puts you in a good mood? Oh, yeah, that. Um, today my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and <laughs> drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. And, and to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump onto the highway. So, um, Ava comes and says... The make sure kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but... <laughs> she totally had it coming. I, I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but... I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? <laughs> she and I used to be the closest friends when I was 7 or 8. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference and all. But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to the house and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister. And she had li no little... And she said she had no little sisters. Ouch. I... I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I... I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey! It... It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. So, aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But, uh, but enough about me. How are you? Everything's fine, uh, aside from this note. A note. Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dead griff, um, dead ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Ooh, I got this note from her. Let's see. Hmm. Wow! She must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? Same fear that gro drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Get the Brantini, will ya? There's a little story I want to tell you. Right! Brantini! Alright! Brantini. Okay. Brantini. Alright. Teeny. Alright. Brantinis. Alright. You get a double. Right? Tell me stories. Oh, it's already got- Wow, that's a- That's a hefty double. That's a lot of red juice. Five and six and one, two. Not very alcoholic, but eh, whatever. 
Brantini. You know, if it's if it's story time. No. 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 Yeah. Or maybe not. Nope. This one? No, that ain't it. Nope. Oh, I already skipped around. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Brantini. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon, it became animosity, and not long after, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went on to college, said sister would quit a job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her hard-ranking job. What if I hire you high-ranking lips? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe, I can lift your sweater. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Enough? Shit. Peace out. Uh, I mean, um... I know the girl is you, and I know the sister is your eldest sister. Please, get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I, can I get a beer? Right? A beer? Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? Alma, she's ordering a beer. I'm getting the... <laughs> I'm getting the elk burps and elk hiccups already, and I'm... I'm not that... Oh, my goodness. Could be worse, I guess. I could be throwing up, and that'd be unpleasant for everybody. But mostly me, because then I, when I wake up, will have to clean it up later. A big beer! A big beer. Big, big, big beer. Big beer. Big, 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 big beer. Um, all mixed. Beer. I usually remember how to make that, but I didn't... Here? Thanks. So, tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law... By the way, I'm stirring my drink. It seems things didn't mix very well. Very convenient stirring rods, because there's a lot of them. She got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was pretty much my sister, too. Mm. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant this girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, go take my break. All right. Bah! You're here? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Anyways, call me if anything comes up. It's break time already! Oh, but I'm also already 45 minutes in. Huh. Well, I don't need to do anything, so I'm just gonna do the save, and then the then, and then the back, and just continue on with things. I don't need a break! You need a break! So stick around. It's a party, after all. Take a load off. It is now safe to keep on playing. I'm not sure if it's more easy to drink now, or less easy. Because I have so many more orifices to suck from. It's less chilly today. I want to change out some of these songs. Some of these songs are just a little too... POW! In your face, for my taste. Um, what was this one? 
Predictably okay. Underground club. Uh, I don't really... Underground club is too much. Too much. Every day is a night. Is this one of the nice ones? That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, why is everything will be okay twice? I don't like that. Everything will be okay. What's the one? What is the one? Where do I go from here? I don't have that one on here. That's one of my favorite songs, so I'm putting that back on there. What was the assignment? Umemoto was a little too crazy, too, so I'm going to take that off of there. What is Neo Avatar? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's hip. I like that. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. Everything will be okay. Jill, uh, kids looking for you? Oh, shit. Hey. Ah, Norma! You're back! Oh, fuck you. You know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? The fact that I actually did give you an alcoholic beverage last time? Shh, don't tell anyone. Thank me. Well, first, by not letting me drink that whole thing, you didn't let me get home smelling of alcohol. I mean, even though you served me the alcohol... Oh, but when you when I do it, you get all suspicious. Not now. I, I, I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me, and, and said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do, and? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me it'd be a waste to spend money in a university just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to the college course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear it. And, well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed headfirst into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right. I'd be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. No, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane, please. I am on it. I'm on it like bonnet. I wonder if there's a euphemism for that. Something that just sounds good. Bleeding Jane. Ugh. Let's make it a big one! Everyone gets big ones tonight. Why? Because I am in such a good mood. Clearly. Cle Ooh, not that. Oh, it's not alcoholic. Hmm. I guess. Well, I guess it does matter. It's it's big enough for those who are not so alcoholic. Blended. Blended. Blended, blended, blended. Sip of the cocktail. Sip of the water. As I'm tasting this more, actually, I am realizing that it's a lot more lemony that I give it credit for, honestly. I think maybe the, the spice in the simple syrup, like, coexists well with the lemon juice. And honestly, I it called for a whole ounce, and I actually gypped a bit on that, and it was still rather powerful. I'd honestly dial back on that a bit. But maybe it's also the triple sec as well, which is also kind of, um, kind of citrusy. Anyway, rant over. Back to the game. Thanks. Hey, Joe. Do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, they wanted they could see me. Oh, XBP, you're not late at all. We're only on the first cocktail. We've only just begun. And why can't I? You're the main character, dunno. What are you? A cute girl. Right. Consume! Which straw should I consume from? All of them or a few of them? I'll go all of them. And being that was hardly a piece of consumption, I will take from a green one. Hmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious.
You okay, Jill? You're making a lot of faces there. Is it because of what you're drinking? By the way, stop drinking on the job, you heathen. Hmm, yeah. Just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and uh, serve a beer, please? Sure. <gasps> beer. Beer, 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 mix, mix, beer, beer. It's not a big beer, but it's quick beer. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Uh, she says that she glitches around a bunch. Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There! I can't see anything. You sure? Yep. Weird. Maybe only your innermost conscience. The player character? Maybe they can see. Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition! Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy Inquisition! Dorothy Inquisition! Ouch! <sighs> Move my tongue. Hmm. Can't believe... I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. <clears throat> Honey! Oh, uh, hey, Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a dream. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Fluffy dream for Dorothy on the go. Is that bubbly? No. Is it sweet? No. Is it bitter? Is it sour? It's sour. This is my fluffy dream. Um, let's give her a big one, but no alcohol. She is on the job tonight, I think, and I have respect for your profession. It requires two tongues. Who knew? Uh, oh, aged and mixed, not on rocks. Age, mix, fluff dream. Fluff dream! And a glass. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, I actually mentioned something about that type of glass the other week. And I actually, I got one of those. Hold on, let me, let me grab that. It's really, really cool. I really like it. Um, where are you? Here you are. Da 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 da. Off to the private collection. Oh, wait. It's a souvenir cup. And if I wanted to make that drink, I could probably put it in a cup like this. It's kind of. Can't really see it too well. When I go back on the big screen, I'll uh, put it back on the camera. There we go. I'll scoop it right there. I don't remember what kind of glass it is, but it kind of looks like that. It's cool. I like it. I dig it. Continuing. Comet glass, that's it. I heard the disembodied voice of my fiance coming from the ether saying, Comet glass, comet glass. And now I remember. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, before you leave. What? You guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yeah. Sure, I'll be here then. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I uh, sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh, yeah. Joe? Take care of Becky, please. <laughs> Who the hell's Becky? <gasps> Becky. Becky is a friend. Who's Becky? Who's what? You said... I said nothing. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get them through more... Shady means she's going to buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all at risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra fire extinguisher at hand. It's the least I could do. Please, please, Gil, please. please. Well, I guess that's it for today. Is it really? You sure you're fine? There's no way that that's it for today. There's so, so much left. Now it kind of tastes like cola. Drinks! It has an evolution. You sure you'll be fine? I am. Don't worry. Hey, Jill. Mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can answer, You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Sorry, what did you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? I, I mean, I guess their second set of ears look like cats, but... The word... Boomer seems so out of place. Consume this time with a red straw.
Oh, look, it seems like a quarter of my drink just disappeared. Hmm. Look at that. The word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much when consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such. Oh. Well, let's go a bit back first. You do know why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti nano machine rejection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Or was it the Ramanenko Yamada treatment? Um, the, the Roma. Yeah, let's, let's call it the catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nano machine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got cut in the middle of it, at a critical point that could make or break the entire thing. Not to mention, Zaibatsu Corps' record of not addressing nanomachine rejection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki Stengovich. Was it Stengovich? Let's call him Stengovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Stengovich funded the research, and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stengovich, didn't die. She became the living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized by in the media and created a really weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through catification procedure, even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for a bit. A whole generation of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born. And their parents got called, and their parents got called cat booners. A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. <sighs> Eventually, cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are. Huh? You didn't think those things on their heads were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and ear muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Uh, vestigial, if you will. Huh. It still surprises me a bit, though, that the biggest mutation they get after the treatment is just that. Cat-like protrusions. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were for functional ears, huh? Um, well, let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. No worry, I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. And keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. Oh, keep it in mind. Wait! What? Yeah, the guy's name was definitely Stengovich. Huh? I just remembered, Sylvia Stengovich was around my age when I was a teen. There were some uh, TV specials featuring her. And I just remembered that I had the biggest crush on her. Now that I think about it, that crush had a me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. All right, Caperl out there. Total earnings, $38,100. Drinks total, 2080 Mistakes, none. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, $624. Tips, 300 Flawless service, 500 All booze and no firecrackers makes Dana a dull girl. 300 Today's total transfer, 1724 Total funds, 5910 That is the end of that particular night. Night number 16, I believe. Rent is due on the 30th. Oh, boy. My cat four says, Meow, you've been talking a lot with that Alma girl. And Jill, I <laughs> stay jealous. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my hiccups and my burps and stuff. My goodness. It's a it's an affliction of the body. I, I can't not. It's called acid reflux or gastroesophageal reflux disorder, which I suffer from. So I am so sorry. But it makes me hiccup and the burps and everything else. Um, That bar called Valhalla. I think I, think I already read that one. Surviving in Glitch City. Consume! This time with a blue straw. I love it. 
I see that that five minute timer is being put to good use, or however many minute timer it is. <laughs> Forced moderation, temperance, tolerance. Anyway, surviving in Glitch City. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy, self deprecating threat. Don't trust in white knights and don't go after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere. You'll have to line up for a flower lot. Oh boy, flower law. At least let me finish this article first. Get used to uh, bring a portable chair. Get used to eat what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating raw rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Don't jinx it, please. I have enough as it is. So coming here was a mistake. Why could you come here anyway? Visiting family, but now I want to take them out. Do it while you can. Yeah, airlines are leaving the city. Well, soon we won't even be able to escape. Can I even get some weed in this crap hole somewhere? Yeah, I just PM'd you a good deal, yo. But it's closed. Unless I'm mistaken, my grandpa lived here before they turned it into Glitch City. And a redeemed- Disney Queen redeemed. <gasps> Online anonymity. Uh, redeemed exercise number two. Exercise number two is reverse lunges. Okay, that's whatever. My, my slippers are on, so it might be a little slippery. Anyway. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep reading. Nine, ten. Was it ten on each side? Yes, yeah, ten. Yeah, there we go. All right. Wearing socks with sandals is terrible. That's a lot of articles. And now the other side. Uh, birth rates decrease as the youth. Birth rates decrease as the youth prefers a Lillum Company by Lolly Smithy. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would be would rather be with robots instead of other humans was treated as a joke. But the reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships have become immensely popular among Glitch City's youth, to the point where birth rates are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. Annie May, a 17-year-old student, agrees with the general sentiment. It's just so much better than dealing with other people, you know? You can just make your own perfect partner. Oh, and sex is amazing! <laughs> Don't even get me started. It's expected that new regulations will soon be announced to address the situation. I really got into my exercise there. Please excuse me. I was entertained. Very good. I say, being only with Lilum can be tiring, though. Robots. Robot sex dolls. Scandal. Wearing socks with sandals in public is now a crime by Lana Smithy. I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like in the streets of Glitch City so long as we adhere to decency rules. However, that is about to change. Glitch City's Department of Public Decency has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail as punishment for using that abominable combo. But what do you think? Should we wear whatever we want or should the fashion police of high society decide for you whatever the case i think i'll simply stick to the right side of the battle goodbye socks and sandals screw you lana jail gods be praised first silly law i'm all in for socks with sandals oh my god i for one have worn socks with sandals before not often but i am a culprit of this i just hope nobody sends any police run after me btc closing 40 percent of its bars BTC closing 40% of its bars in Glitch City by Lana Smithy. The British Trademark Council is facing some economic troubles in Glitch City, and it looks like they're on their way out. Blaming rising inflation rates and a weak currency, the BTC has given the order to disband almost half of its recreational businesses in the city. We can't keep doing business like this. Glitch City has a negative impact on our earnings, and we can't continue in the, in the red, a PR representative told the Augmented Eye. Prime Minister Quincy, on the other hand, thinks the BTC is just too greedy. They make a lot of money already, and now they're crying because they can't have more? <laughs> Give me a break. Jill says, oh yeah, this. Late to the party, Augmented Eye. We already knew. <laughs> and now, I read all my things over here. I will take a save. I will do the saves. Night number 17, and on that note, I will take a small break as I prepare myself to imbibe another cocktail. I've still got a little bit of this guy, so I'm going to take him over to the bar with me. Next drink of the night, uses a blender. Um, If you like blenders, you won't want to miss it. I'll be back in a little bit. Peace.
Hello, everybody. I just need to do something. Not like that. <laughs> Did you like my face for a second? Cool, the camera's on. All right, it's cocktail time. Here I come, making my way to the bar. Oh, I need my phone. Do you need my phone? Oh, there's my phone. There you go. I need to be able to keep track of chat over here. If I don't keep track of chat, what am I? Nothing. Sad. I'll be sad. Oh, okay, that doesn't seem to be updated. <laughs> Whatever. Do I click the... I don't really know. Activity. No! Stop! Buttons! 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 Buttons on the phone! That doesn't seem right at... Whatever. I'll just wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe you back there behind the camera. The lovely lady behind the camera over there will be able to keep me up to date on things. Should I just yell at you? Yeah, yell at me. But not right now. Don't, don't chastise me in public. <laughs> Anyway, just have to yell at you. I have another drink for the night. It's four nights. It's four drinks. They're all from this book, 1001 Cocktails. I found them on the side of the road. Isn't that crazy? Serendipity at its finest. This one's called the Watermelon Man. Why? Because it has watermelon. Duh. And it's like pink and whatnot. And it requires me to use Anna's blender, which I'm not going to clean very thoroughly until after the stream is over. Wink. Yeah, it'll be okay. You should clean my blender. I'll, cl I'll clean your blender. Don't you worry. I'll clean your blender. Anyway, the Watermelon Man, the book says, Watermelon is such a colorful and tasty fruit that it makes a great mixer. Don't be tempted to add more, though, unless you want to dilute the strength of your cocktail. And I don't know how much more I could dilute this. It takes four measures of alcohol, so let's get right into it. It says, whisk all ingredients together in a blender until well frosted. Well, I have a blender. Uh, we just got a $5 donation. I'm sorry, what? Yes. What? It's what? It's our, our fun... Oh my god! I love donations! Okay. I'm gonna blow a balloon for you. <laughs> oh. You don't have helium yet! Oh, you don't understand while I'm blowing this balloon, do you? No. Oh, you don't understand while I'm blowing this balloon. No, please don't release it. It's celebratory! It's a celebratory balloon pop! Don't you dare pop that thing. That's why I have toothpicks over here. I don't like that. You don't? I'm sorry. Let's open. <laughs> Balloon pop. Celebrates! Balloon I pop. I did not like that. Nobody does. Why did you do that? Nobody does. Anyway, I'm over here now. Why? Anyway, I'm going to take some crushed ice. I got some crushed ice. I crushed my ice last night. Not with my bare hands. With a wrench, silly. Like a real human. I'm a big... I'm Big Monkey Man. I use tools. I Don't use worry, tools. our neighbors constantly have the washing machine going. My so... neighbors have never complained about my noise, so yeah. this would be the first. And if they came knocking, I'd answer. I would laugh. <laughs> they make more noise than us. There's a lot more Something blah 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 but you ain't no friend of mine. That's Hound Dog by Elvis Presley. I used to play that for Marky Man. Anyway, I don't need this anymore. Anyways, I need four measures of white wine. On tonight's wine selection, we have a beautiful Maurice Lorca, a white wine blend. I have no idea what varietals are in it, and apparently nobody else does because nobody fucking cares. I'm sure there's probably maybe a ganache in there, perhaps a little, maybe a little Chardonnay. I don't know, and I'm not a sommelier, so, uh, you know. XBP. Tell him to take a shot of alcohol or yeah. we leave. No. <laughs> or I'll just do it upon my own accord. I need four measures of this. Oh, there's a little bit left in here. What's that? Oh, that's the syrup. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Find you want a shot? Anna, bring me the shot glass. It's okay, fine. I, I have the jigger instead. I can just do that. For what? I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> That's flat, by the way. Why are you all under the impression that I keep the correct liquid in the correct glass? For all you know, this is rum. That is Coke. Dark rum. I know it's Coke because I drink out of it. Yum. You're such a cheater. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. He oh. also took the rest of the syrup, which was highly spiced and alcoholic. Oh my god. That was so powerful. Definitely an ABV of at least 40 on that bad boy. My stomach can't handle Pepsi. Anyway, so I need Coke. four measures of the driest white wine. And this was the only one I had open. So, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh! Goes into the blender. <laughs> I was like, hold up a second. I'm not shaking this. I'm blending it. Pepsi. 
Uh, Pepsi has its place. Pepsi has its place. I'm not allowed to. I like, I like both Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> it has its own place. Consume. Consume! Wait a minute, I have a drink for this. Oh, you wanna, <laughs> you wanna, you wanna see, you wanna, <laughs> you do. Consume! What the hell? I consume. It's my wine. It's fine. You can't do that. It's very, it's, if I had to describe it, it's like a little buttery. There's a sweetness in there. Okay. It's kind of apple-like. It's apple, it's like apple and pear. I don't really taste a lot of citrus in there, to be honest. I took a wine class for three weeks with Drexel University. That means I'm a pro. No, it does not. Actually, you're absolutely right. A uh, voice of reason back there. We also took a wine class at Disney with a bunch of old prep, old women that were like very judgy. Yeah, they're just like, what they is this? They also didn't give me enough crackers. They they're stole like, them. what is this 15 year old doing here sipping wine? I'm just like, I'm actually 21 years old. And, and then they would give me death glares when I didn't like the wine, so it's I handed funny. it to Cameron. Very funny. Man just did a shout out. Uh, rub a dub a dub a dub, catching up on chat, catching up on chat. All right. No! Yes! Cool. All right. And then next, we put a dash of grenadine. I would consider a dash to be like a bar spoonful, so I'm gonna go with the bar spoon. This is grenadine. It's a recipe I stole from the internet. I didn't steal it. I give credit where credit is due. How to drink. That's a YouTube channel. I got the recipe from him. It calls for pomegranate syrup, pomegranate molasses, water, sugar, as well as orange blossom water to taste. Orange blossom water is not something that I can very well describe because I don't know the flavor profile very well, but if you tasted it, you'd know exactly what it was. I heard that. What was that? I don't know. It didn't pop up yet. Oh, it's another donation. Oh, oh my what? A dollar. Oh! <laughs> that means I'm popping another balloon. Oh at the very like, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe I don't pop the balloon. Maybe I just blow the balloon up. Really if we get if we get more of these donations in here, there'll be balloons everywhere. Do you have a preference? Do you have a color preference? I got orange. I got purple. Uh, the red one's dead. Blue. White. Um, I got a green one over there somewhere. Pick pick a color. Uh, I'll await your response. I await, I await your response. Uh, where should I put this? I'll put it in the glass. Oh, wait, this is the glass that I had before. This is the comet glass. And it looked a lot like one of the glasses in the game. And you know for a fact I'm going to use it in a cocktail one day. Anyway, dash of grenadine and four chunks of watermelon. I bought this at the store today. Fresh from Whole Foods. I've finally been able to leave my house. You still haven't gotten the response for your color. I'll give it. I'll give it a moment, and then I will blow up the balloon myself. That's one watermelon, two watermelon, three watermelon, and four in a blender. Mm. Why are we singing about watermelon? Why not drink sing about watermelon? Oh, oh! You just got another one dollar donation. <gasps> two balloons! 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 I swear, I love balloons. balloons. Did you pick colors yet? There might be a message. There might be a message in that donation. Where you might not be able to see from message? here. Or shout them out in chat or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna blow up the balloons until I have a color pick. If not, green BTW. Green. Oh, there's a green balloon somewhere in that bag over there. No, I have to get it. Can you assist me, dear? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And now I. Oh my God! This table doesn't like this. <laughs> there we go. Balloon. Hey, balloon. That's one. You need a second. Uh, oh, green. Find a green. Uh, there might only be one green in there. No, there's a second. There's a second green? Perfect. Okay. Balloon first, then blender. Balloon first, then blender. Oh! Hey, oh, right in the cup. That's right in the cup that this thing is going in. All right. I have two balloons now. No. No, no blue. <laughs> no. No blue balloon. We just got another donation from Dark Techie. This is the first different one. Balloon! What are you gonna- Balloon! Balloon, balloon, balloon. Hey, now I got- Whoa, the knife! Oh, there's a knife over here. Watch out about that. Knife over here. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe, you know what I'll wait? Maybe I'll wait. For just the right moment to pop these. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'll scare. You this time, this time, I won't be the one scared. Now you'll be the one scared. I already was scared. <laughs> anyway, balloons. And there was another donation. Pick a color. Pick a color. Dark Techie, we want color. Fun. I feel like Dark Techie might want a green too. Anyway, blending time. <laughs>
In case you can't tell, my lights are blinking because of the way that this is messing up with <laughs> the breaker system. Camera, what color you want? Any color. Consume! Consume. Oh, I have yet to take a sip from the... Oh, there are only two yellow straws in here. That's sad. Wow, that's insane. Hmm. Eventually. Yeah. Balloon, balloon. Two blows. That's all it's going to take. There we go. Beautiful balloon. And only two. It's because I have lungs for days. By the way, Anna, on your side, you might be able to see the requests. And you can complete the requests that I've done on this screen. How do I complete More balloons. Eh, don't worry about it. They'll do it later. I've done my consumes. Oh, oh okay. So I Anyways, is this supposed to be straight? No. There's no way... Is this supposed to be straight? No. Of course not. Complete on! Mm, get off. There I we go. It. Here we go! That's the blended drink! Oh, baby, we got it! Yes. That looks like a little too much for that one. Oh, come on, get off. Get, get, get. Oh, Maybe I just have to do that. Up, yeah. Anyway, uh. Watermelon Man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's that see. That looks like a lot. Whoa, that's a lot! Hey, yo. Hey, yo! It's a good thing I grabbed this other part. There we go. Whoa, it's a lot of. I started like classes again and I'm behind, so. <laughs> Miss the streams with Anna. We'd be the most adoring vlog couples ever. Oh, that was not cute. Yeah. I acknowledge your comment and I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, you didn't use the tiny glass? Where's mine? Did you want one? Sure. What is it? Does it taste good? Hey, yeah, it tastes like watermelon. It's beautiful. I like that's very that's super watermelon. But it's not done yet. It's yet to be garnished. It needs to be garnished with more watermelon. It's it's very it's watermelon light. What did you use? Oh, uh, wine and watermelon. Yeah, I'll take some. Yeah, you want some? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come over to my house. Come over to my house. We'll serve you. We serve you cocktails. We serve you good good that's drink. That's that's a couple. If you don't want it, you can just bring it back to me. No problem. And now I need to garnish it with ooh, watermelon. So it's wine and watermelon. Wine and watermelon. There we go. There we go. Two things on the thing. I don't have cocktail sticks, so this will have to do. A little. Oh yeah, that's watermelon, baby. Cool. Now I have a drink to sip. There we go. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Get in the plane now. The plane? You're coming over? I told you, come over to my house and make you cocktails. A very Italian family right here. You come over to my house. I'm We're gonna give you the it. pasta. Sure We're gonna that. give you the pasta au jour. We're gonna give you the, the pasta, the patient. All the pasta. pasta. I have three boxes of pasta and I'm gonna spend it on my guests. We're not giving them pasta. I can make them pizza. Oh my god. Fine. Anyway. Um, oh, that won't close. The Italian accent. I grew up in an Italian house. So. Alright. Um, <laughs> that is my drink. That's my drink. It's super watermelony. I don't really taste the wine very much, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's like to lose wine on. Technically, I'm Italian too, but like I'm more German. My ethnic background goes in this order: Italian on top, then the Germans, and then some mixed muddle of the Czechoslovakians and the Hungarians and the Jews and uh, a bunch of other people from the Mediterranean area. Sicily. That's where I'm from, from Italy. Yeah, my dad says, I shouldn't repeat what my dad says about Sicily. That's what I talk with my hands, you see. Uh, whatever, that's insanely offensive to some people. I don't take offense to it. I talk with my hands. That's what I do. You see, I'm not even doing this on purpose. This is just my my body. It's my genes working. It's working. It's working that stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that's I made my cocktail. Lovely. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll head back behind the screen then. But in the meantime, I gotta put some things away. Because I don't want this to go bad. Italian, Polish, Hungarian, French. My goodness, you're like a melting pot like I am. What am I? I'm bro. German, then Italian, then... You're German, then Italian, and then something else in there. No, 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 there's something. It's weird. It's not Polish. Here, you keep talking, oh, and I'm going to put this ice in the fridge. Netherlands? Nether know. Netherlands? Really? You're Netherlands. I, I'm pretty sure I have some of that. You're Dutch? Yeah, you're Dutch. we're Dutch. That's cool. Grammy's Dutch. I have no idea. You learn new things about your partner every day. They request that you say pasta again. Pasta. <laughs> Is that it? 
Can't say, can't say pasta. <laughs> pasta. <laughs> we don't need that pasta. 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 <laughs> pasta vajul. Pasta de pes. Rigatoni. Mozzarella. Salami. By the way, I'd like to shout out my today's sponsor. Salami. My forever sponsor. Salami. Help me. Anyway, back to the other side of the bar. Okay. I put my ice away and my wine's over here somewhere. Can you place that over there for me, please? You are such a doll. I love you. Now say your spaghetti bolognese and a lasagna. You're welcome. Why? Anna, can you clap for me on three? Mike off. No, no. Mike off. Weird butter syrup. Right, 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 right. Anna likes the drink. I'm so happy. She like it a drinky. No, I didn't like. She gonna like it a drinky. Oh, she like it a drinky. Let's go back to the live screen. Where's my face? Hey, 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 Gameu. Plug back in. The hey, OBS. Camera. Where's my? <gasps> I didn't plug back in my camera. Anna, you were so smart. Uh, yeah. You were so smart. That's why they pay you the big bucks. <gasps> big Consume. Wait, I forgot the rest of my drink on the other side. Oh my god. Wait, I need to. Oh, come on. There we go. I can't give me the drink. This will be the last of it. Yes. Uh, I have no more straws to individually choose from. Oh, wrong color straw. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that. Anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. Can I throw yes. out all these straws now? You can throw out the straws. Every single one of them. It's time to fix my posture. Okie dokie. A posture has been fixed. Pasta vajul in the fridge. Drink in hand. It's back. A back to Vahala. Okay. I consume. And now you're fixing my posture. It's done now. It? You have done that? I don't remember how to say. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. You've done that? Time, time to go back to stream. You go back and do your work. I'm gonna go. Why I'm gonna go do work? my work. I'm gonna don't do my work now. I have to do all my I'll be back. And by the way, I'm so happy to hear that you enjoy the outfit and you think that it fixed the aesthetic of this particular restaurant theme that I'm going on right here. That was exactly what I had in mind. That no looks a lot like one of the bartenders. So this seems oddly appropriate. It's back to work time. Back to work now with probably the, one of the biggest. Things in my hand. One of my, one of my, my next drink actually is in a wine glass that was made, custom painted by my dearest herself. And it's a heaping large wine glass. If you didn't already see over there. Whew. Excuse me. Good evening. And, and actually, I'm not even the best cocktail stream out there. I, I think there are even better ones than me, but I do give recipes. I'll, I'll post these recipes on, on Twitter later for those who are, like, legitimately interested in this because this is what I like to do. It's one of my hobbies. Hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who comes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not going to say anything, Jill. If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. <sighs> Fine, give me the list. I'll be back. Sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. Wow, that was a lot of watermelon. Wow, so. What gives you that impression? It's so lightly watermelony. I love that. <sighs> yeah, $59.99 for a cup of noodles. You pay for the atmosphere. Did you know Gil has a crush? <gasps> he what? 
a client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backwards, and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up, for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it. That's right. Huh. All right, then. To the office I go. As for me, time to set up the jukebox. And it's fine. Where's the, where's the button? Here's the button. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Deal with a crush, huh? This place, great. Oh, if it isn't. Hey, Jill, sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my tail. Boss, stop woman, incoming. The door is open. Go ahead, the door to the left. Left. Left? Wait, left? Left. My camera's reversed. Hello there! Oh, hi there. The other one. That's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now where did she... Oh, the hello! Perfect! Hey, kid. I love the usual. Right. You remember me after two weeks... Mr. Donovan's usual. I'm pretty sure he gets a beer. A big, strong beer for a big, strong man who doesn't take getting pegged lightly. Mr. Donovan seems like the kind of guy who puts on a tough act and gets pegged by his wife. Maybe. Nothing wrong with that. You do you. You do you. A big beer for the big pegged man. I see those ellipses, followed by the additional period. And an ellipses is three periods. You had four. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations, and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to. I literally just consumed. I'll do another one. The crushed ice is really getting on me. Yeah, the crushed ice. I, that gets it. That really gets it. So I had to come up with space of some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but you do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty page that will over-sensationalize anything and report useless things. Of course I know. I'm the editor. Then why not try to rectify the image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls. In the non-pleasant way. Non-pleasant. Like being pegged. I don't get pegged by my wife. I don't have a wife. Zaibatsu Corps and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once, and they'll find something to find you with. Twice, and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation and keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is it, the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. My ass is on the line. Did you get the pegging jokes before? That's the ass on the line part. It, the joke comes full circle. Uh, anyway. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. The BTC has uh, gone apeshit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday, they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates and never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's, it's obvious to me. That some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlets talk about that. The media is censoring things. All right, kid. Let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Moon blast. Moon blast. Starts with an M. Moon. You want a big one? I'll give you a big moon blast. Anyway. I'm trying here. Boop, boop. Doo, doo. 
One, two, three, four. A big old moon blast. It's on the rocks, and they give it a bit of a blend. Perfect opportunity for another watermelon. Hmm. Tasty. I like that. Moon blast. Success. Here you go. Take it. Now let's see what the ruckus is all about. Um, so what brought you here? Oh, right. Didn't you see Lilum coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did you jump to the roof then? Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. We don't. It's it's all about this side, not this side. This is you know, abuse, and this is a discipline. Anybody, don't don't hit people. It's sad. I don't try to hit people. I only hit myself. There we go. Skin still supple. Perfect. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits. Also, hot ass and tits. I'm suffering the weirdest combo and being hard as fuck right now and curious as shit. I want to know just how detailed those King Class Chi Wan A models are, personally. You fucking creep. And so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you'll have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. So the way that I see it, it's a... Uh... In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Fucked up, but we don't take shame. I'm not that kind of person. Um... Is that a little missing here, then? Huh. Uh, to find out Busty enough for placement tonight, or <laughs> I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. A pile driver. Pile driver. You, sir, are the worst kind of man. But hey, it's a video game, I guess, right? Nasty, nasty, nasty people. All mixed. Give it a mix. Please, be drunk enough to never come back to this bar and chase after any Lilim woman person ever again. Take it. Take it and run. Here you go. <laughs> if you're a creep, that's creepy. All right. Well, see it as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left. Oh, all right. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. I hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you! Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me. It's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure, yeah. Miss Idol wants something sweet. We can give her something sweet. How about the blue fairy? You're blue. Fairy-like? What happens when you get drunk? Let us find out. That's too much alcohol. Optional. Boop, 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 boop. Fill you up. There we go. Give it an age. Give it a mix. There's the blue fairy. Here you go. Thanks. So did you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with it. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. It seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. <laughs> well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Forget- wait, yeah, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really? Hmm. We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. 
But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after uh, help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough; it wouldn't hurt to try. How nice! He's a stick in the mud where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. <laughs> well, I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious, in my opinion. I have many fans. doesn't sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier, more pretentious image for me. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but the few things I've heard are really good. I'm not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Yeah, we got tea. Bottled. Tea. 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 T. T. The letter T. This episode brought to you by the letter T. T is for turmoil and termites. Here. Perfect. Hey, you're a king class Chia, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and a DFC 72? One difference is the lack of consumption going on on screen. Mmm. Watermelon. I like that. I have another melon lint drink tonight, too. It'll be the last one I do as well. Another blender drink. Ooh. Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but DFC-72s have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. My line lacks that or the resilience of the DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. <laughs> hey, Jill, will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out, never mind how expensive they are. So I guess that's a no. Sorry. Now you will. Here. Huh? What? Uh, is, is this? It's a ticket for my Encore concert. Sorry, it's not a better seat, but I only get so many free tickets. I don't think I got to go to the concert last time. Last time I played this game. Oh! No, 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 I mean, th this is amazing. I don't know if I can accept it, though. You will. It even has a backstage pass, so we can talk afterwards, and you'll tell me how it was. I'm sure you'll love it. By the way, it is at this point that I would like to point out that a comment made before was five nine ninety nine for a cup of noodles. I just noticed that this was on in the background. I am easily entertained, inspired. Yet somehow I missed the most obvious things. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave that there. I just noticed it was back there. <laughs> now I get the joke. Why give it to me? I don't know. I I like you. You're attentive and hear me out. That behavior should be rewarded more. Well, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. And from a celebrity no less. Don't think too much about it. You deserve it. Although, I guess I can understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get quite a few fan a few from fans, but it always feels so... weird. I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily, I've thought of a way of not feeling so bad about it. How? Just give it my all on stage. They gave those gifts to me after watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best and give it my all as a way to repay them. I should, uh, give it my all mixing drinks, then? Of course. I see. Um, uh, well, I've got to go, but let's have a Sparkle Star first. Sparkle Star! Definitely Hong Kong dollars. I don't know what the 
currency exchanges for that though. I don't know if that's more expensive than sixty dollars over here or less expensive. Excuse me. Sparkle Star. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Who's that knocking at my door? Five, six, seven, eight. This drink will fuck you up. Ha <laughs> ha Ooh. I am terrible. Aged and mixed. There you go. Sparkle Star. Hey, it's the drink. It's the Sparkle Star. I have the Sparkle Star. This is the Sparkle Star. Yes. Oh, wow. It's like eight bucks. Oh, would you look at that? Even still, for a cup noodles? Eh. Still too spancy. <laughs> Anna, what's a Zus dollar? One HK equals 0.13 Zus dollars? Hmm. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. P please come again. Will do. Zus dollars be like, pretty sus. Oh, the handsome bartender, nice to see you. Uh, uh, um. Boss, Gil's back, I'll take my break. All right. Interesting. Break time, break time. I'm not taking a break. I'm doing just fine. I'll take my break before my next cocktail. I gotta make sure to clean out that blender. Because I have to prepare it for the next... Not the next drink, but the drink after that. Consume! I've consumed for you. Consumed for you. I've consumed for you. Do I look tipsy to you? I don't know. I don't think I am. Never ask a drunk man if he's drunk. He'll probably lie to you. I'll lie to you. I lie to myself. This is how actually hold on. This is how I know that I've gotten drunk and or tipsy. I will look in the mirror and start negotiating with myself. I'd be like, listen, I don't think you're drunk. But maybe you are. Okay, let's imagine that we are drunk. We're gonna talk about this. What have you been doing? Do I perpetual motion? Do I feel fluffy? Do I feel like I'm gonna make bad decisions tonight? And the more I ask these questions to myself in the mirror, no matter how I answer them, the more questions I ask, the more drunk I know that I am. I have yet to start questioning my reality, my personality, or anything regarding the self, so I think I'm doing all right. Hmm. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of Boss's chicken buckets. Did Boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go without them. Right. Greetings. Ah, oh, Stella, what can I get you? How about a Bleeding Jane today? Bleeding Jane for Stella. I, I can never get her voice right. I don't even remember what her voice was. Oh, well, the show must go on. Bleeding Jane. Uh, you get a double, too. It's just been doubles for everybody tonight. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I love the music in this game. If I haven't talked about the music in this game already, this was the music that I listened to in a rather rough time in my life. Rough time is in last year. Last year was tough. Grad classes, I started grad classes and continued with undergrad classes and I filled a pretty much half full-time job. It was really crazy. It was very stressful. I use music. Music is my way to de-stress sometimes. Well, I'm happy that the police force of the United Kingdom can confirm that I am a very happy man right now. But does that mean I wasn't happy earlier? Will I not be happy when I wake up in the morning? Oh no. I'm happy. But that means once the alcohol's out of my system, that that means I won't be happy anymore. By this logic, I must drink more. No. I'm not an alcoholic. 
I'm not an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic. Anyway, Bleeding Jane. Here you go. Thank you. And I won't be happy in the morning if I don't drink my water. <laughs> you've, been, you've been seeing the blue bottle, right? This is water. And vodka. Uh, my own special recipe. Honestly, the way... This is my hangover cure. I drink a ton of water after waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning after drinking the night before. I drink an entire, like, thing of this of water, and I feel great in the morning, for the most part. What brought you here today? Waiting for say? That rhymed. I came by myself, actually. I, I was in the area, and I stopped to say hi. Oh. It's, um... It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is... Comfortable. Excuse me, I'll admit it. So quiet and secluded. <laughs> it's also clean. Really clean. Gil is the one you can owe that to. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a bit out of it today, though. So, I see. Hey, Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in, that's in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I, I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded, but after the events of the bank... Hmm. Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, bricking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any, any white knights still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky they got beaten up while they were able to move. So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white, white knights going on the run... There ended up being a lot of junk lying around. Uh, but the whole scientific community is rejoicing because they're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. That sounds so cool. And of course, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from the research that research to justify those expenses? It's new tech. A whole new field ripe with patents just opened for many, so I would say yes. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. There's one weird case, though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. You see, Jack's British. He has an unorthodox addiction to alcohol, much like my... S not myself. Uh, he's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Unique. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. Henshin. Genshin? I don't know what either of those words mean. Hen what? Uh, <clears throat> oh, they, they look really gaudy. Uh, but it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He is one of the few, if not only, suits of armor with the OS intact. Operating system. To say they're among the most modern people could be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. <laughs> it also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. Sure. Wait. Here's a freebie, fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zabatsu Corps has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zabatsu Corps because, let's face it, they're far from innocent, innocent. But they're no evil overlords. They're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placements. Consume. 
If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Let's not start with the theme parks of like those are dystopias of their own. Then again, and again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind Zabatsu Corps chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corps is actually doing. Yeah. So what were you saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so... Yeah. Huh. No, seriously, Hen what? <clears throat> C can, can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Brantini. Brantini. Brantini, 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 Brantini. Do you want a big Brantini? I'll give you a big Brantini, and I don't mean that in any suggestive way whatsoever. Just girls being girls, serving each other cocktails at the bar. You can have a Brantini if you wanna. Whatever. Aged, mixed, boom. Brantini. Mmm. Brantini. Here you go. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well, I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kiramiki Encore concert. Nice. Oh, right, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? Um, sorry. Again? Again, yes, I would buy that for a dollar. And I can't believe I just missed her. I'd buy an experience with a robot supermodel for a dollar. Perhaps more than a dollar. Perhaps I'd spend upwards of a couple hundred dollars on that. Depends on if I'm simping. Art thou simping? Be honest. I was surprised too. I was more surprised you remember my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Hmm. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I, I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life, and but having such backing to that claim to hear that she's so nice to everyone, it's nice to hear, you know? In fact, many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. Um, how she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. Hell, half the time I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care that much. Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he has actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. My daddy's the nice guy. It always is. Stella's not the only person I know who still calls her daddy daddy. I call my daddy daddy, not my dad daddy. That's my father. I mean my future in-law, who, when I call daddy, is made visibly uncomfortable. It's really funny. He doesn't notice half the time. I love you, Joe. Sounds like good advice. But more importantly... <laughs> daddy? <clears throat> Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. Thank, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so e can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. You know, the whole drills thing going on there. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty cray. I see. I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with say in her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Hmm. Hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. You want another Brantini now, don't you? You want another Brantini? I'll get you another Brantini. How about a big old Brantini? Everybody likes their Brantinis around here. Clearly. 
one of my drinks later on will oh no i lie i was gonna say one of my drinks later on will be in a brantini glass aka martini glass it, it won't be it'll be a margarita glass hmm. aged mixed stop brantini zero here you go this is classic how it was under the classic category yeah whatever oh but it was under the classic category Oh, I made a boo-boo. Do you have any servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend the plants. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. I've decided I like that drink. You like that drink, dear? Yeah. You do? You finish it off? Yeah. You want some more? Then I'd be taking your drink. I have more drinks to make. Decisions, decisions. I'm not good with decisions. Give me your cup. I'll do halvesies. Okay. I'll do halvesies. You're going to have some more. That's the whole point of making cocktails. I get to make them for other people who may or may not like them. You know, like, for everybody who doesn't know, I took a class on bartending a couple years ago, and I specifically took that class specifically so that I could try to find what it was about cocktails that Anna doesn't like and to be able to find cocktails that she does like. Turns out she's a fruity kind of girl. She wants things with low alcohol content in them, and things that are too complex just kind of goes over her head. Who knew? But this is really simple. It's wine and watermelon in a glass. Blend it together. It basically tastes like watery watermelon. She likes watery watermelon. Who knew? That's the whole. Re that's one of the whole reasons I even pursued this further. Because I was like, well, I like cocktails so much. I want to be able to extend it to the people, specifically the people closest to me, Anna. Oh, that's family. intense. Is it intense? Is, is it intense now? Yeah. Yeah, probably the alcohol. You probably I mean, got more alcohol than I did. Potentially. Potentially. Anyway, that was my whole backstory. It's the service aspect of things. I like to serve. I like to entertain. This is... Uh, what I like to do. And if I worked at a bar, she'd slap me. I never said that. She never said that. If you want to go work at a bar, as long as you get an actual job, you're fine. According to Anna, bartending is not an actual job. Okay, okay, I did not say that. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no. yes, you did. Uh huh. Oh, no, yes, you did. No. Actual job, as if people in the service industry aren't actually working positions. You're insulting a couple people that I've seen in these chats before. You're uncertain in a couple of people that I know in real life. Hmm? You need to pay for me. I have to pay for tuition. Anna says, we I need to make the money. I do make the money. Did you not see those donations? My goodness. Did you not see these donations? I'm basically rolling in the dough. I mean, come on. Let's be real here. Anyway, enough of your okay. awkward silences. Or more of your awkward silences. This is what the people want. Technically, I think they'd want me on screen, but I'm hiding from screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is just awkward after a while. Awkward silences. This is what the people came here for. <laughs> I don't think that's... What if, what if, I started a just chatting stream, it's just me sipping a cocktail on camera, just... I think people would be okay with that. But you'd have to respond to people. And not use your tongue, because that's creepy. Welcome to Just Chatting, Cameron Style. Anna wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel love, thank you. But, um, I'm concerned now. She's the real show. Maybe. That's why I have to take her off camera every once in a while. You have to leave the audience wanting more. Well, no, I just She's wanted... got what the people of the internet want. I was jealous. I wanted to join. My pretty face deserves to be on camera. Your pretty face deserves to be across every billboard. I don't want Because it's that. beautiful. Uh-uh. Yes. That's terrifying. Yes, attention for Anna. Ah! Okay, I have to go back to Orville. Anyway, vamp over. Time for Anna to go back to studying and time for me to go back doing things that will apparently lead to a dead end in my career, but here I am having a great time. What would it be, says Stella? Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? <laughs> 
I get trying to, I get trying to crack it in the first place, but yeah, I, it, that would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't. Zaibatsu have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patent anything. A patent would be in the database that somebody could hack and retrieve valuable info from. That's true. Patents are public. I mean, the whole idea of the patent is you put it out there for public knowledge so that people who might be working on something similar or related with the exact same thing know, oh shit, that's patented. I can't patent it myself, and if I tried to use it and marketing it, it's illegal. But hey, whatever. People do what they do. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside of one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are by all means illegal. Good thing. Mmm, so watermelon -y. How irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it, though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And this, this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Ah, uh, um, uh. And for the record, nothing that you do, whether it be consume or this, that, and the other thing, is making me drink whatsoever. I know for a fact that types of activities like that are very much against the terms of service, and that's not very healthy for anybody. Consume could be any drink that I have at any point in time, and it is my decision which one that I drink. I have water always, and I have cocktails sometimes. Sometimes I even have tea, because... If you're not drinking healthily and it's a problem for you, then why are you drinking in the first place? Is it just for fun but at the expense of your body and your health? In which case, you shouldn't be drinking. Remember, alcohol is a toxin. Anyway, chat over. Or, or, or pep talk. Pep talk over. Try to justify it for all the Twitch mods? Yeah. I am. Somebody will eventually tell me to stop one day and I will happily go with it. But this is a privilege that I will take with me until... Somebody tells me no, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, Alma. No, hello? You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks stop. And before you know it, boom, total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I am not. In fact, I'll go through that door again, and I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, when I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping, at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I mutter, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quoth the bartender. I did not. So you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. Cobalt velvet. For the girl who doesn't like poetry. You like poetry? Get cultured. And that made me think of a conversation actually I was having earlier today with somebody about a couple of years, like a year or two ago. I kind of got back into reading books. They try to encourage it a lot in school and whatnot, but I was never into reading books. Like I just, I was not into reading books. And then I took a class and I read a book. Long story short, I took a class, read a book, and was like, huh, reading books is pretty cool. Now I read books again. Uh, and now I forget how that had anything to do with this game and what was going on. So, oh well. Here you go. Thanks. 
Oh yeah, there's um something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm. Does the name Shadow Master 69 Chronicles ring any bells? Wow, you went pale. No, 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 the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today my daily card readings tell me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter-school contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon, I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. The later entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Hmm. Mentions of being laughed at. Being lectured on why the essay was wrong. And now a message from my... Potential people who know law and terms of services more than I do. <clears throat> now the disclose this disclaimer. Camera with an X Enterprises in no way implies that the consumed perk of the property pla properly pad parts party. Th <clears throat> Restart. Camera with an X LLC is in no way implies that the consumed perk of the properly plaid party head system is in any way inclusive of alcoholic beverages or such beverages which are health impeding. When the consumed function is utilized, it is at Cameron with an X's discretion as to which or whether a drink is consumed. Thank you. You have done a great service. I will. I will repay you with another balloon. See, two breaths. That's all it takes. Two breaths is all it takes. Falling in love with me. Becoming my ND. Making me an NDA. Your support is all I need. There are now four balloons. What will I do? What will I do with these balloons? I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. What I do with the other ones? Oh, they're sitting on the couch right now. I'll grab them during the next cocktail. Because there will be a next cocktail. Jill, I made sure to delete that blog. No evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Why? Sheesh, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Did you realize how embarrassing it all is? <laughs> God damn the alcohols. <laughs> Stop! STOP MAKING ME HICCUP! Ugh! That's so watermelon -y. We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? God, no. I gave up the whole occult stuff. It's just that remembering all that stuff is... Uh, cringeworthy? Haunting? Uh, traumatizing? Debilitating? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like the way you looked. All dressed in black, with the rare accessory popping out, thanks to colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a picture? Oh god. You have a fucking pic? Oh, why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small, teensy tiny background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. I just use a search engine. A search engine. You know, I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with the Earth occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which sort of haunts me today. <sighs> Never underestimate the lengths old classmates will go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. Now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. <sighs> Hello? Karma knocking at the door. Oh, Karma, nice to see you. Whack! Stabbed with a knife. 
I have to ask though, what are you? Oh, I missed that. Why the 69? I have to ask though, why the 69? I caught it on my stream window before it went away. It was supposed to be 69, not 69, like in reference to both the lovers in and the hermit. I was convinced. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 69. RIP Takashi 69. I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's see, sweeten things up a little bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Oh, it seems that we've got a clip and chat. Ooh, sound the alarms, clip and chat. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sugar rush, sugar rush, sugar rush, sugar rush. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Sugar rush, sugar rush, sugar rush. I can't wait to check. I'm going to check that out later. Maybe. I'll even put it in the highlights. Who knows at this point? Optional karma. Tr oh, you were getting absolutely messed up. This is a wonderful opportunity. Wonderful opportunity. By the way, the light blue stuff, that's the alcohol. Let's see. Mixed sugar rush. Oh, you are in for it now, Alma. Sweet, light, fruity, as girly as it gets. And then that punch in the face. From not just karma, but now alcohol. Here you go. Here you go. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That sudden. Why would you want to know questions like that, the Jillian? <coughs> Trying to hit on me. You dug through my past. I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine. Fine. You got me there. Fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Um, hmm. Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Uh, yep. Mm, well, I've had about four boyfriends who I'd describe as such that I've introduced to my family and all the kitten caboodle. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, Keep the fucker! Uh, the second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. Uh, he starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it, I, anyways. Um, the other guy I met shortly after I dropped out, he was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And, and then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. Uh, we had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us, and he just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There really was a part of me that wanted to believe, even just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just, I, I had to break up with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will you? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. A beer, 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 beer. Beer, 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 beer. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. How drunk are you now, Alma? Don't mention it. Okay, one more question, and we're even. Wow, you all, you really are embarrassed of that blog stuff, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants in your boobs? Jill, I, I love you, and I know you're saying that in jest, but I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't, and won't, take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. Now, ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation then. I gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? Ha <laughs> ha, chopped. <laughs> oh, well, there's a couple of reasons. 
The first is that I spend lots of time typing, and these replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index figure, it acts like a computer's cursor. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say them out loud. Tiny little things, like my own custom aliases and commands on the bash command line. Like, oh, I am so sly because I can go to a particular directory in this particular server and SSH into it with a click of a button. Ooh, I'm so technological. Ooh, I must consume. Water, I've run out of cocktail. Oh, no. Take a big old swig of that one. You know, I always wanted to feel like Hacker Man, and I took a class on Bash Command Line and other Unix Life Systems, and damn, do I feel like Hacker Man now! How did your family take the operation? Oh, it seems that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm consuming the rest of Anna's drink. Look at that. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. I shall. I shall protect you from the harms of the adult life. I just wanted the watermelon. Understandable. And I figured it out. There's more watermelon. Yeah. There's plenty of watermelon. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, yeah I eat the watermelon. They took it well enough, except for my mom. Uh, she freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss them? No. Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone, ha someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. Uh, one of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got... Completely crushed. I told them to check if we were compatible and all that, and well, I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment, and it could pass off as their original hand with no problem at all. The last I heard, we were compatible, and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her pestering the poor girl, so are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Now you don't. Uh, wh why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance, and only one chance, and you just used it up, so... Damn it! Surprise! Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Hey, hey, not particularly, no. Although, there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm? It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death. Here's your balloon back. I'm not trying to do a shit British accent. I'm an American trying to do a British accent. What do you expect to get? It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death, and then acted as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. The result would basically be an image, not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Impossible is just spelled with one S. Is impossible always spelled with one S? I definitely noticed that. Even 5% of the amount is needed enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like brainwaves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still, an interesting read, though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you convinced yourself that you're crazy. Well, I'll leave then. See, see you tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am. Uh, what about you, Gil? For some reason, the idle girl left him like that, it seems. Ooh. F5. For some reason, the idle girl left him like that, it seems. Hmm. Interesting. You think? It might have been while he was out. True. Hey, boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... Yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't Twin Tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? 8th grade what? Uh, 
when you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect the legal losses to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world, uh, well, legal problems through good old... You can solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... <clears throat> well... N no, seriously, 8th grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show. It just so happens to use fights as an expression. Uh, you might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Hmm. But I don't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. No, no, I will not. So now, I have to go back, go and break Gil's back to make you humble. Oh, well, wait, wait, what? Come here, fuckboy! Fuckboy, oh! Eighth grade what? And that's the end of that night. Total earnings, $42,390. Drinks total, $3,240. Mistakes, one. Oops, Brantini's apparently not classic. Whoops. Commission, 25%. Today's payment, 810 tips. 1050 flawless service nope who would have thought we'd get a bona fide idol in the bar $300 today's total transfer 2160 Italy funds 80 70 I don't know what words I just said there anyway we're back click to continue your rent track contract is now invalid what your rent track contract is now invalid please vacate the pal the place by February or discuss a renewal with you Jill couldn't pay her rent this will distract her at work Well, I've never done that before. Whoops. Well then, I guess I'm vacating by February. Good thing the game doesn't last until February. Alrighty then. I have a couple of new articles to read and whatnot, but I'm going to take my break first, clean up my blender a little bit, go to the bathroom, and prepare to prepare, to prepare my next cocktail of the evening. So, if y'all wouldn't mind waiting around for a hot minute and a half, maybe, I'll be back with, with some more... Fun and exciting, potentially tipsy, potentially drunk activities. So please enjoy these parrots. I love parrots. I love I parties.
o'clock, time to party, had some time to deactivate, reactivate. Look, it's my face! Now it's not. Is that like the last hey. thing it captures? Yeah, it like, it freezes. The way I have it set up is my face is right below it, because that's the swap screen, right? That's supposed to swap the game audio, the game video with my face. Oh, I need my phone. Do you have my phone? Where's your phone? Ah, probably somewhere on the desk somewhere. I found there it. There it is. Thank you. And it's already on the right screen, so I can facilitate. Hi, everybody. I'm back at the bar again. Why? Uh, I guess I'm an alcoholic. Who really knows at this point? Anyway, hi there. My name's Cameron, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Cameron. And because of that reason, I'm making another cocktail because I just can't get enough. It's called the Hawaiian Orange Blossom. It's a spin on the orange blossom, and it's also in my book that I found on the ground. I've repeated this enough times. You get the point. It's fun. Serendipity. Anyway, the Hawaiian Orange Blossom calls for shaken, gin, triple sec, orange juice, pineapple juice. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's wonderful, and you put it in a wine glass, so I have a special wine glass. Anyway, that's how that goes. So, to, to start with, I need two ounces of gin. I've still got blue coat. Where's my... Oh, there's my gin. Right in front of me, of course. Right in front of my eyes. Exactly where I would miss it. I need two ounces of that. I need two ounces of that. I need two ounces of that. Are you sure? I need two ounces of that. Absolutely. Cool. By the way, dearest, in case I haven't said it already, I truly appreciate your commentary. I love you. Oh, you love me? Not if you say it like that. Good. It's a requirement for this relationship. Time to drown the fact that I am apparently no longer in love with one measure of triple sec. That's mean. Oh, it's mean. Is it mean or is yeah, it true? Yeah, you can't just take that away from me. The truth hurts. What if it's a lie? Well, then I guess there is no truth here now, is there? Are you a truther? I ain't calling you a liar. Uh, one ounce. One ounce of the triple sec. Oh, it's getting all in my fingers. I almost got that all over the top of my uh, little makeshift bar over here. It's actually two tables. You basically like drowned it yesterday, so it's okay. Or last yesterday, two Yesterday, last ago? time. Yeah, I made a mess. Yeah. What do you expect? The bartender's not supposed to be drinking. But here I am. Yeah, you were like swapped. Okay, and now I need to add two measures of orange juice. There's orange juice in the fridge. I got I got two oranges over here, so I'm going to cut some oranges, and that's how we're going to be. I should probably should have thrown this shit out over here. Whatever. I hope these oranges are still good. They've been in here for quite a while. Remind you, I have not been able to go to the store except for today. I was able to go today. I'm allowed to do that now. I've been officially cleared by some governing body, and I'm happy about that. So, uh, yeah, I haven't really gone to the store, and I forgot to pick up oranges, so I figured two clementines will be just fine. I need two ounces of that. Will I get two ounces from here? I don't know. I'll get you we'll the see. orange juice if you don't. No, if, I, I don't think I'll need... I don't think I'll need that. I think I'm just going to go with whatever two clementines can give me. And uh, just leave it at that. Because I'd much rather opt for the fresh stuff if I can. I like my orange juice. It's a little sugar. Yes, you like your orange juice, but uh, I don't think it could use a little bit more. Something a little better, you know? And I'll cut my orange. Other orange. Orange, orange. Orange, 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 orange. My other orange. Chopped. On the thing. Ooh, I heard my I heard my ice. Every so every so often, the ice in my cocktail shaker will go like a. It's really funny. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about. You just think I'm crazy, which you probably do, and I'm totally okay with that. But it's uh, it's entertaining. If you've ever heard it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, I guess you wouldn't unless you keep ice in a confined space that may or may not be able to be pressurized. Whoa, that huh, totally inverted. Awesome. Oh, that's dripping. And another piece. That's like two-ish ounces. It's like, mm, it's not even one and a half ounces. All right, I'm gonna need that orange juice. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, you win this one. You win this time, woman. Oh, uh, let her have it. Why do you still have iced tea? Why do I still have iced tea? Because I, like I haven't drank it all. I don't drink it. Shake, 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 orange juice. All right, it's like half clementine, half store-bought orange juice not freshly squeezed unfortunate i like my orange juice thank you lovely it's organic it's organic it's organic it's organic yeah. as she said at least three times i had to check i got the message the first time and then we have one measure to measure a uh, measure of pineapple juice that's just an ounce listen to this so good how much is in that thing a ton but i only need an ounce so what do you need to do with the rest of it drink it later 
Are you serious? Maybe. I very well might not be. Oh, did I shake it? Uh, they have requested consume. Consume! <laughs> pineapple juice. How does that taste? Very pineapple-y. I forgot to give it a shake. Ah! Excuse me. Sorry, I forgot to shake the can and now it's open. Perfect. All right, then. An ounce of now shaken. Oh, that's a lot cloudier now, exactly as it should be. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Top off the rest of that. Mmm. Mmm, pineapple juice. Love that. And this says, shake vigorously. I mean, that's just what I usually do, but I guess I'll give it a bit more oomph this time. I'll give it a whack, spank. Maybe do a little bit of this. Maybe do a little bit of that. Maybe give it a flip. Flip. I know I'll do that. I'm gonna do it again. I'm overconfident tonight. Maybe I'll do it a third time. Do I dare chest chance again? Yes, I do. Please don't Absolutely. hit the TV. Anyway, that's pretty vigorous. I'll take it. There is no suave shake. There was no suave shake? No. Oh, well. Ooh, that's frothy. And it says, do I strain? I strain. I strain. I strain it. Where's my strainer? Where was my strainer? Did it fall on the floor? Oh, no. That's where's, disgusting. Where's my strainer at? Ah! Where's my strainer at? Oh, my goodness. I must go grab a strainer. Ah! Emergency strainer time. Ah! I know where it went. There we go. I'll just take a tea strainer. There we go. I have, no idea you... where... I have no idea where my strainer went. Where'd my Hawthorne strainer go? Goodness gracious. Whatever. And I put that into a wine glass. I found it. Oh, is it on the floor? Yeah. That's okay. I'm gonna go wash I'm not that. Because that. that's Thank disgusting. You, you are so kind to me. Well, I anyway, don't really work no more. Speaking so. of my dearest being very kind to me, she made me this wine glass. On uh, we would we would usually go on vacation to one of the Disney Here's resort me. parks and stuff, and you know if, when you're at a resort and you pay money, they let you do free things, and they gave them paints and wine glasses, and we have two of these, and uh, this is one of them, and I love it. It's unique and very large for a wine glass, and so that's what I'm gonna do with it. So let's let's strain strain it, strain it. Woo! That's why I like the better strainer because now there's a bunch of ice trying to make its way into my drinky. Goodness gracious. Thank you for that. Ah! Okay, well. That seems strained enough for me. No, Google, you can't help. Google, stop talking to me. Ah, no, Google, stop. There we go. Silly Google. Oh. Well, that's lacking. What? That's lacking considerably. I'm confused. What do you mean? It's lacking. It's not, It doesn't fill the wine glass. Let's do another... Are you serious? La, la, la. Oh, I don't have enough orange juice. I already gave you orange juice, right? Orange juice. I've been serving everybody else doubles tonight. You're gonna have a double? Mm. What's yours look? Let's do a double. Da, 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 da. There we go. We're gonna need more orange juice. We're gonna need more orange juice? Yeah. Alright, we'll buy it. Because I have a cup left. We got money. Do we? We do! Do you think? I don't know how much was donated, but I bet it's enough for orange juice. Thank you. I need my orange juice. You've helped us purchase more orange juice for this sad, sad abode. Thank you for that. It's my orange juice. And thank you for that. And thank to Kuiper for triple sec. Woo, baby. There we go. That's, that's a lot of alcohol. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to see how that ends up. What else was in there? Huh? Bottle juice. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. That's an ounce. I'm gonna shake it again. Put that strainer there. Do a little thing. Boop. It vigorous, vigorous strainer. I'm not tempting fate again. That's enough. What? That's pretty that's pretty crazy. I didn't know that was vigorous though. I feel that felt pretty vigorous to me, honestly. I don't right. think that's vigorous. Uh, pretty vigorous to me. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now that is a satisfying beverage. Are you going to be able to handle that? Absolutely. I never do things that I can't handle. Never. Not once in my life. I would never do it. Mm -hmm. Never. Never, never, never. It's called knowing your limits. This is the Hawaiian Orange Blossom. And it probably tastes like... I'm going to guess it tastes like pineapple and orange and gin. 
Wow, it smells like gin. And orange. A little bit of pineapple. No. Yeah, yeah, who knew? Who knew? Big shock. Who knew? True moon knew. True moon knew, moon knew, moon knew. Knew my, knew my. Anyway. That's my cocktail. That's cocktail number three. Could it also possibly be cocktail number four? I don't know. It really depends on how fast I drink it. Within moderation, of course. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my bar now. There's one more glass next, and it uses the blender as well. So, let's make our way back to the bar. Do, 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 do. Um, can I hand this back over to you, dear? Uh -huh. Thank you. Over to here. And then, same situation as before. Mic off. And now we're back to the other side as I switch my cameras around. Let's do this button. Boop. Da, da. And then click the button. And that'll show up eventually. Right? Show up eventually. Show up eventually. God, I need a better computer for this shit. Hey yo. Hey yo, we're back. Ooh! Consume. I can do that. I can do that. That sounded Consumption. Like holes. I can fix that. Yeah, did you get the holes reference? Yeah, I did. You got it. You got it. That was a good movie. I enjoyed that. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. That was Looking in the shadows. Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. Anyway, now I have a huge wine glass filled with a double. There is six shots of liquor in there. So uh, be careful, everybody. What? Yep. Be careful, everybody. Time to drink a ton of water. Oh, yeah. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Anyway, we shall continue. Apparently, I didn't pay my rent. Whatever. It's a video game. All right. Uh... Augmented eye. New Lillum regulations. Did I, did I read these? No, these are all new. These are all new, so I will read them all. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Grand Slam Fighters crowns a new heavyweight champion by Lana Smith. The Glitch City's most popular pro wrestling promotion crowned a new heavyweight champion yesterday with giant Yusuke taking the gold from fellow Japanese wrestler Justin Liger. After previous champion, 66 American Kid was forced to relinquish the title due to a head injury, GSF decided to hold a tournament to find a new title award holder. The match ended after an epic 30-minute bout with a giant Yusuke applying a massive German suplex for the three count. During an interview with the Augmented Eye, giant Yusuke told us through a translator that he's waiting for 66 American Kid to recover. I won't rest until I beat him clean. Jill say, so exciting. If only I understood what's going on. Can I read faster? Shh, let, let's, let's try it. <gasps> After the Great Earthquake, salvage agents are the new rage by Loudon Smith. The Great Earthquake that sank large portions of the world five years ago also created an unexpected new profession salvage agent. Samaraki is one of the ladies salvagers, and she shares her experience with the augmented eye. Seeing big cities like Tokyo and places like Caracas, several kilometers below the ocean surface, that's something that gets to you to know, you know? Millions live there before the Great Earthquake, and it's on me to retrieve their memories, their lives. Aki is now working to retrieve items from a research facility in the Tangashima Island in Japan. For now, say, Mile in Australia, Jill say Australia is a tad more complicated than that. A little bit faster now, if I can even manage it. 
New Lilum regulations by Lana Smithy. The current regulations preventing Lilum from looking too human have been working well so far, but Cliff City's government is planning to create even more new laws so as to enforce robot like features among the Lilum in a bid to reduce identity theft. Glitch City, the first nation to adopt the current standard of artificial intelligence and robots, was the first to allow robots into normal society, quickly giving them unnecessary rights so as to withstand the long term experiment about their role in human evolution. Unfortunately, the first year saw numerous reports of identity theft, resulting in the need for more stringent measures. It is unknown what kind of laws we'll have in the future regarding this existence. Jill, but people look more robot-like by the day, too. I mean, did you see the rivets in people's necks and arms and stuff? Anyway, that was that was my impression of a fax machine. Now time for Kira Miki's blog, which I'm sure is... Oh, yeah, Valhalla. They shut out the bar, look at that! Valhalla by Miki. The name sounds silly and a bit hard to pronounce. Good thing it's actually called Valhalla. The funny numbers and letters are just a code. Anyway, I visited this cute small bar downtown twice after getting lost for a bit. I think the area was called Neon District? At first, it was a bit scary because I forgot my way back, but once I got in there, I felt really safe and at home. The bartenders are a bunch of sweethearts, and the boss was such a class act. I even took a photo with her and sent a video to her little sister. I look forward to visiting again. The drinks were very tasty, even though they were made of real alcohol. Jill say, I don't know if I want the bar to suddenly become a fan tourism hotspot. Ugh. Tourists. Nasty. Anyway. Time to give that a save. Save. Button. Save! Room. Late 18. Time to go to work. I remember it's it's not all bad that I didn't pay my rent. I already got that achievement, so I guess it's probably okay. But y'all should pay your rent or you'll get kicked out. I mean, I guess even nowadays you won't really get kicked out. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world right now, so... Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Gil, are you, sh are you humming Shine Spark? <laughs> uh, n no, uh, different song. Ah, oh, hey, Jill. Um, are you okay? Are you in love, maybe? Hmm? Nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Right. No, seriously, did you fuck? Men only get so happy after they fucked. That's, that's, that's not... Oh my god, you totally fucked! Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I didn't. In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since... Well, never. Hello, Jill! This is for you, Gil. A and this is... A copy of Sunshine Stone! You've been humming that shit nonstop, so here you go. Um, th thanks, I guess. It's also a congratulatory gift. For what? Don't play dumb. You totally just got some. It was Titty Hacker, right? You always had your eyes on her. I sent her a message. She'll confirm if she did the dirty with him or not. Let me know. Right. I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. <laughs> we totally got some. Oh, whoa. That Apparently clicking enter puts this in window mode. I didn't know that. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Very ginny. I love the way the blue coat gin tastes. Very nice. It's super, gin is super botanical. This one's also very botanical, so, you know. Oh, it's Betty and Deal. Uh, you're too happy and you're too mopey, so what happened? I was right. Huh? That Laura girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. Betty was right, and that deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. Evicted. Holy shit, that's a new low for me. Oh, I'm distracted. Oh, that's what distracts me. Now I have to actually remember what the drink is. It's a beer. I, I gotcha, I gotcha. It's a beer. Nope, not aged. Let's give her a big beer. Big, big beer. Big, 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 big beer. There you go, for the occasion. All right. So the girl was actually infatuated with him? You should have seen her screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. 
And him just standing there thinking. Just like that! In retrospect, it was a tad too cliched for my taste. Blech. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right! I was right! He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. <sniffs> Unlike your co-worker, holy shit, did he fuck? You're making it too obvious, Gil. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Uh, back to deal, though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Can I get something uh, non-alcoholic here? That's not how you drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I'll have a bloom light. Okay. <laughs> bloom light. I should have skipped October's rent to buy the Wi-Fi router dildo. Oh, oh, that's funny. Bloom light. 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 Bloom light starts with a B. One, two, three, four. And then making a double. Everybody's getting doubles tonight in celebration of my own double. Oh, goodness. Double, 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 double. Two, three, four, and one, two, all three, four, five, six. That's it. All aged on the rocks. Give it a mix. There we go. Bloom light to you. Oh, and Deal wanted. Okay, and Deal wanted something non alcoholic. I almost forgot about that. Uh, let's just go like this. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, that doesn't have any alcohol in it. Let's give you a bleeding Jane. Who needs a double, right? Who needs a double? Give it a blend. Who needs a double? I need a double. Bleeding Jane. Here you go. Thanks. Same. Celebrate all you want, but I'm freaking out here. Uh, I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. Well, for starters, what do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary, and Jessica. Or, should I say, didn't share the bedsheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo waster, chocolate addict, too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, teetotaler, teetotaler, and chews with the mouth open. What'd you think, Jill? That you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I, I mean, about piece of scrap situation. A and thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Um, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on fucking cloud nine. Look at this guy. Look at, look at this fucking chat. Or is it fucking in cloud nine? Ha! Ah, well, for starters, how do you feel about her? I, I... I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Ask her out sometime. Get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change hers. In the end, you lose nothing by... Uh, what? I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to a Lilum. So, so I don't know how well it applies to you. And these things are all humans and are humans and all but organs nowadays anyways. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? she this fella is a good catch if I do say so myself. And I, like I said, humans and all, but organs. You've surely encountered little that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, we live in weird times, but hey, that only makes them more interesting. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lilum, though. Well, Glitch City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilum integration, so... <clears throat> anyway, um... Just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel afterwards. Yeah, I think I'll try that. 
It's quite the uninspired advice, if you ask me, but, you know. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. Piano man, piano woman. Sing us a song, you're the piano woman. This one's already a big drink, so I can't make it any bigger than it already is. Sing us a song tonight. And you're on the rocks, and you're mixed a bit. And now I'm gonna make your wife. Or maybe the piano man and the piano women are just like, you know, business partners. They don't, they don't have to actually be like husband and wife or anything. Oh, that'd be pretty cute. We'll admit. Very cute. Very cute. Da -da 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 uh, aged and mixed and boop. Piano man. The piano man has a key on the bottom of the glass and the piano woman has a heart-shaped lantern on the back reminiscent of the anglerfish which lulls at its prey and Munch. Piano woman. Here you go. And now we reach a stalemate. I'd normally take the piano man, but I feel there's symbolic value in taking the women. Hm. Why order like that then? <laughs> I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine. Mine. Betty, you don't own me. Besides, I can't, for the life of me, leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. That's not a laughing matter. You need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know. Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. You're right. So you won't leave me? I'd worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. We should leave now. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, we're holding a small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you want to come, but if you want to, you can. We'll come! Are you sure? We will come! Fine. We'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Phil! Please, come again. You guys are in this bar, right? Well... Oh, shit. Kill, I'm out. I'll... Not so fast, Miss Alana Smithy, if that's your real name. Fuck. Not this bitch again. I went to the augmented eye looking for you, and what did I find out? Lana Smithy is not a person. It's just the collective nickname everyone uses when writing crap. Huh. Well, he lied to me like that. Why would you do that? I, I mean, I didn't. Ah, well, no matter, you know. Uh, night's young. Give me something nasty, like last time, will you? Something nasty. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, like the Zen Star. It's apparently disgusting. You want the same thing that's disgusting as last time? Well, here you go. It's four of everything. It apparently tastes terrible. There you go. Mmm. Tasty, tasty, disgusting, disgusting. Look at that. On the rocks. Give it a mix. Z ah, I messed it up. Excuse me, it's one, two, three, four of everything, and I can't seem to count, both with geometry, there's squares on the screen, and with the numbers in my head. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting Zen Star. Put it on the rocks, give it a mix. Disgusting, look how disgusting it looks. There you go, disgusting. Here, this is the... <coughs> Hold on. <clears throat> it was nasty, all right. And now... It's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Huh? It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of my theme song. No, thank you. Don't be shy. Let me give you one. I, I, I mean it. No, please. Thank you. Well, too late. It's already in your player. That that can't... How the ever-living fuck did you do that? Magic! That's bullshit. It's video editing magic. Did you just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, whatever. Hey, where are the dogs? 
last time you talked about this place like it was this zany haven of sorts, but I, I see the same shit. Seriously, no decorations or anything in the light? Good question. Where are the dogs? I either haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols! Newspaper managers! Talking dogs! And yet this is the same old bar as last time. I, I mean, I might sue you for fake advertising, you know. I'll, I'll do it. I swear I got it. I got I will. Now that I think about it, maybe Boss just donated money to the Sierra thing. And then they sent the dogs over and, and then tricked the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Totally up Boss's alley. Oh, well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I miss them, but, like, yeah, they, they should at least show their faces. I mean, they do kind of work here. Like, hello? Sorry, what did you say? I wasn't listening. I was asking if there were any new stories. This is not a newspaper, you know. Nor is it a crazy stories on demand streaming service. And that's a big fat lie, and you know it. Shut up. But I said nothing. Ha 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 ha. I meant, um. So shut that idea up. Yeah. That. I won't. Last time I came here, the viewership peaked for some reason. I want to find out why. Maybe Pretty Boy over there can tell us the story of who he fucked. <laughs> He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. <laughs> Amazing. I guess there's something worth saying. But... Then I want to hear it. Come on. Tell us. Uh, okay. Well, uh, uh, Kira Miki came yesterday, again. <gasps> You're shitting me! You expect me to believe she came all the way here again? Do you even have proof like the glass from last time? Uh, well, um... If I may interject. You've been listening, boss? The walls are pretty thin. Oh. Anyway, she did. I even took a pic with her. She did what? Let's see. Why? Why, 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 why? I try to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. Oh, but but you sit there and she just comes waltzing over? No, it's not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets, but I, I don't have a fucking clue. I, I was just as baffled as you are right now. I, yeah, but I bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? Hmm? I mean, you're not wrong. Can you at least tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful. Client, much like the last time. A uh, really nice girl. She's extremely pleasant to be around. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know. You hear? I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back again, though. She already came twice. I'm not taking any chances. Um, I, I need something to drown this anger with. Give me something girly, will you? Okay. Girly. What a girly drink. I'm on a girly, girly drink. How about... Sunshine Cloud. There you go. Have a double, streaming Chan. You'll really enjoy it, I'm sure. Maybe that's why your viewership spiked last time. You got drunk, you went back, you did something crazy, and... Well, I mean, that's... that's... I'm not surprised that the ladies on the internet get all that kind of stuff. Oh, they got it. They got it easier than I do. I think that or my perspective could be so damn thin that I am missing something along the lines, but I don't know. I'm barely a viewer. There you go. There's your girly girly. Here you go. Whew, let's just chill a bit. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. <gasps> Still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole peak viewership thing is just you. Huh? Maybe this bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Are you hitting on me? I am not. In fact, I'm trying to get, trying to get you to leave pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. Another nuisance shows up. <laughs> Joe hates me. It's not hate. It's just, um... Uh, wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Get out of here. Boring! 
Hey, 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 you're, you're curious, right? About fuckboy's partner? You wanna know who it was? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. That maybe not settles it then. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on! Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. It's nothing, really. Did the two bartenders break or something? Should I call the manager, tech support? Hello? Miss Dana Zane, please come in here. Your bartenders are broken. Hey, Joe, inner and outer voice, remember? Fuck. What? Who fucked? Aside from that guy, I mean. I, um... Is it how to say? You're oddly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep lately. That way, I don't feel like if I stop speaking, I'll die. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commando! Subscribe to streaming channels only fans. <laughs> huh. But come on! I'm getting bored out of my ass here! Come on, do something! I'm not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know. Mind if I entertain you a bit, then? Boss? You and Gil take a break. I'll entertain the Mizzy here. Alright. Ah, Jill, by the way. By that, I meant take Gil with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right into a truck's grill. <laughs> grill, Gil. <laughs> right. Alright, Gil. Come on. Uh. And break time, break time, break you, break you, break time. I've somehow made it through half of this drink so far, so I am going to give it a save. Give it a save, and I'm going to take, take, tweak. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in just a moment, just a quick one. Enjoy these parents, as per usual. Da -da 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 -da.
I'm back, everybody. And I clapped. Therefore, it means it's time to start again. That means voice works, right? That means voice works. Oh, yes. Clap, clap. Pat, 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 pat. From the show Little Einsteins. Uh, nobody knows about that. And if you do... Oh, my God. She loves that one. Incredible. Hi there. I'm Jill. Want a cigarette, Gil? Uh, mm, no, thanks. I don't smoke. Mm, uh, whatever. All right. I got a text from Alma. Boss, Alma and Gil didn't fuck. Well, that's a bummer. She's sending congratulations your way, though. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. So who is the lucky girl? So it was a guy. I never thought you swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was a girl. Oh, and you did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know. Damn. You don't make things easy for me, though. How so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know. You never talk about yourself. You're talkative. So long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know to get through to you. You make me sound like some weird loner. Yeah. You are a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with... Whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Well, after that idol girl came yesterday, I looked her up. To I looked up her discography, and... Uh, I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh, God. You didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No. Why would that be a problem, though? I, I don't know. It just... I, I just... Felt weird. Well, uh, that's... That for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and kill? Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way, we won't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Gil attractive. Hmm. What a thought. Ready! And that's that. Anna, thank you for putting dishes away. You're the bestest! I have to clean eventually. I mean, I'm going to clean it tomorrow. Ah. And that's that. Back! What were you two doing back there? Sure. Fucking. Oh, so just chatting then. <laughs> Holy crap, did you two really fuck? John has the face of a man who fucked to death recently. See, Gil? You're making it too obvious. How? What will you have today, Dorothy? I'll have a gut punch. Come on, right. What? What? In nothing. Gut punch. She wants a gut punch. Pow! Right in the gut puncher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting numbers. Let's make it a double. Why shouldn't it be a double? Everybody gets a double. You want a double? I'll make you a double. I already did make you a double. Look at that. Aged. Nope. Give it a mix. Woo! There we go. Gut punch. Woo! Here you go. Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. You okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Yeah. Did you know Lilum tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Our tongues were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I, I checked my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to... 1.2235x. That makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Pow! Why all that exposition? I, I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after the last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations, you could make a seismograph with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans had to understand 
how they work. And after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Looking up all that suddenly made me feel real. I'm a real girl now. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now, not having a midlife, young life, uh, potentially living crisis. Well, well, I'm glad to hear that, Dorothy. All right, then. Let's try something sweet now. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Like a piano woman. Tweet, tweet. 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 Tweet, tweet. I'm having a tweeting battle with my fiance. Tweet. Tweet. You said tweet. It sounds like tweet. I, it's, you're correct. Give it an age. Give it a mix. There we go. P woman. There you go. Ah, oh, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. I'm here talking to you, and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs. But after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over and over again. That always made me crash back into reality. When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you here right now, it's amazing i don't know it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of it helps when i feel particularly cynical ah you flatter me honey besides i've always thought about humans like nature's loom the method might have been different but we too evolved from more simple form ages ago if Lilum managed to create biological life years from now, it will all have come full circle. So what should I take from this is, um, you love me. <gasps> Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Ooh, shouldn't have skipped November's rent to pay that mobile game debt. She wants a sugar rush. So she gets a sugar rush. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I messed up my colors. Oh, I'm so tipsy. I've messed up my colors and shapes again. Optional karma train all the way to the top. You, you, Dorothy. You didn't get the rush. Here you go, says Jill. Even in doubt, my love for these is totally real. How romantic. Man, that go goes a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Gogo -Go is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried, Jill. I'll be in my office. Cute little girl, Lilum. Cam girl. Oh, fiddlesticks. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes at your service. <laughs> Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey, Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure, sounds fun. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, a uh, sugar rush over here. Okay. Don't throw the balloon at me. I can see you with the balloon. No, oh, I've got an orange one. Poof, now it's deflating. Bartender! Sorry, what? Sugar Rush. Uh, Sugar Rush, please! Uh, right. Uh, Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. One of those balloons are now deflated now. I bit Why it with my tongue. I bit it with my teeth, not my tongue. Hey, now I've got a little orange condom. Oh boy. Woo! There it goes. Now it's behind the television. Oh, we're never getting Woo! Alright, things are going a little crazy over here. Uh, Sugar Rush. Uh, let's give her a big one. A big one! In recognition of my own big one. Oh, things are going crazy over here. Anyway, give it a mix. That was a sugar rush. A sugar rush for you, madam. To everybody still following along at home, now is the point where I will wholeheartedly admit that I am rather tipsy. So, with that in mind, let's continue. Here, 
Good choice, Dorothy. Yay! So, what are you doing in my turf? Um... Streaming Chun. Yes? No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. The streaming Chun over there. Um, Man, that's a tacky name. Yeah, but it's my tacky name, so... Actually, that's not really my name. What's your name? What's your real name, huh? Behind streaming Chan's awesome mask lies the humble Nicole Chen. Humble. Why not call yourself streaming Chen? It's funny that you mentioned it. Um, actually, you see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. Um, I changed websites, so the name felt a bit out of place. Thus, I became streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan, though, so I just went along with it. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. At one point, I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes, but then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. <sighs> anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. I'm trying to recreate the magic. And so I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Ooh, I see, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey here might seem harsh, but she just needs to crack her shell. Shut up! Crack my shell, you're talking about. See, you just need to say the right thing at the right time, and she becomes a total sweetheart. Quiet, you. Don't play hard to get. You know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but... Don't, don't you have a sponsor? Like salami or something? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisements. I have, but you see, um, the contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had me make a new one. He was going to send the draft to his lawyer as it had a couple of additions, but... Um, yeah, let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became... Unreadable. Oh, so he used the contract to... Yup, yup, he cut into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis. What the hell? I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the adult VR industry, but nope. What a bunch of DGENs! I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a new business partner or something. Apparently, Forever Sponsor Salami just ain't up for the task of streaming Sean, but Forever Sponsor Salami continues to sponsor this episode. No, it does not. Yes, it does! Forever Sponsor Salami. I want proof. I want Salami. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all over his dick are punishment enough. Ha! Ha ha! Ouch. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? Like, what the fuck? That's money that you're soiling right there. I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. I'm so sorry for jacking off of the contract. I didn't mean to do it. I'm already in pain. I don't need the chastisement. I've already chastised myself. Anyway, some people seriously, like, what the fuck? Ah. Dick paper cuts. Nice. I've done enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. That said, Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. <laughs> don't mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. All right. Two big beers, honey. Big beers. Big beers, big beers, big beers. Been making doubles pretty much this whole time, so might as well. Just a swick. There we go. There we go here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixed there. Two beers. Two big beers. For the lovely ladies. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. All right. I'm not feeling my tongue or my feet. It's time to get lewd. What? Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? <laughs> this will be a cheat for non-premium users. 
I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in a jacuzzi. He didn't mind being in premium time, so I started setting up the camera. Then I met, I was, was in a challenge. Oh god, fucking in a jacuzzi. I wasn't just gonna stream over the water, I wanted some underwater action too. So I needed those waterproof cameras. What'd you do with the bubbles and all? And that was the least of the problem. We just turned the jets off. Easy. Uh, but not only did I have to make a makeshift underwater cover i also had to keep in mind the heat oh the heat heat isn't good with cameras oh did you try chilling the cam a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling uh, we made something more convoluted we took a small cooler opened a hole for the lens and sealed it with plastic i made sure things looked good through the cam and started recording and well threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler and didn't need any weight Yep. Luckily, the guy was into bodybuilding, so we used some old dumbbells. He was also ripped as fuck, but that's... Ooh, that's another story. It was all a success, but it's also the last time I had sex on a jacuzzi. I don't remember the last time I had sex on a jacuzzi. If ever. Blood rushing, hot water. I felt like I was dying midway through it. Thank God he decided to resume the action out of the water midway. Why are you opening the door? I got scared, and I just opened the door to our apartment, and I'm like, now everyone can hear this shit. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, long story, it, it resumed the action midwater. Man, they kept going, and they were fucking alrighty then. At least the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex on a jacuzzi, my body got so hot, the guy almost burned his dick. I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Thank you. I feel so much better about my, potent, my, my floor mates and apartment mates. They're fine. Nobody should have to hear things like this. You shouldn't have to hear things like this. Leave. That's rude! Don't Unless you want to see more cocktails later, in which case I will make at least one more cocktail in a blender. It'll be great. Are you doing a cocktail or a mocktail? No, cocktail. Oh, you didn't do the mocktail? Uh, I opted against the mocktail. It just wasn't too... It wasn't as complicated for me to warrant going over to the bar area, so... Uh, that's what I went with. But, like, I could t I could totally do cocktails for, like, other streams in the future and whatnot. There, my, The book, the 1001 Cocktail Book, has a ton of mocktails in it, so I'd be happy to do things like that. Of course, imagining that there are people in the audience who can't consume alcoholic beverages right now. I get you. I understand. I was in your shoes for... Um, let's see, let's see. Let's, let's do the math. Whatever, 20 divided by 23, divided by 100. What the hell? 86.95652% of my life has been spent in your shoes, so I completely understand. I'm just, I'm new to this stuff, so I want to, the alcohol stuff is new and exciting. Anyway. Besides! Those cooling systems require way too much maintenance. I mean, have you ever done a cooled computer system? I haven't. That's annoying. What if I get water everywhere? I don't know. Wait! I think I should leave. But uh, uh, care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure! Yeah, totally. Then count me in. I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way, then. Off we go, Dorothy. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, honey. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. A pair made in the deepest, darkest pits of hell. At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater sounded convoluted as fuck, though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're... horny. Well... We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great. Were we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today, I got the taste of the kind of clients you'll deal with and... Please keep it up. Well, tomorrow's the big day, so get ready. That goes for the both of you. Total earnings, $46,420. Drinks total, 600 mistakes, none. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, $180. $800 in tips. 
Flawless service, 500. Either I'm getting old or that girl was way too much even for me. Today's total transfer. Oh, that was 600. Total transfer, 2080. Total funds, 10,000. Now I have enough to pay for my apartment, but apparently I'm getting evicted, so... Whatever. Uh, plus, click to continue. I have no new notifications. Happy New Year's. May all your wishes come true in a new bountiful year filled with health and joy. Happy New Year. Um, there are articles to read, so I will read those articles. There's a lot of cocktail left. Oh, this is a very... It's left my glass rather hazy. Um, that's going to require quite the quite the fix later. Um, Jill say, I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. And my cat four says, meow, meow, meow. And there's nothing new. Oh. Well, I'll give it a save. Uh, this is night 19. This is the final night. According to my research. I don't remember what happened last time. Um, new night. New me. So, um, I'm going to transfer over to the bar. I still have quite a bit of this drink left. Uh, I will finish it because I, that's my own personal policy. I don't like the, I really don't like putting things to waste. But I got one more cocktail tonight. It's another melon thing. So if you like melons, stick around. I'm going to do a quick little switchy switch. Um, be back in a moment. Please enjoy these parrots.
All right, time to switch the cameras around. Deactivate, activate. Look at my face. Don't look at my face. Please don't look at my face. It's disgusting. Anyway, it's time to make a cocktail. This will be my final cocktail of the evening, including the use of, yes, you guessed it, the blender. Again, thank you, my dearest lovely Disney queen who cleaned it for me between breaks. I was going to clean it myself, but when you have the best possible assistant in the world that you can ask for, how can you not... I delay doing work by helping you stream. Well, it's either ortho or cleaning the blender, so I guess cleaning well, the blender actually, is the best way to go about ortho. it. Are you finished ortho? What are you working on now? Um, I'm supposed to work on neuro. Ah, you don't need neuro. Yes, That's the brain. You know what else affects the brain? Alcohol. Anyway, final drink of the night, similar to the watermelon man, woo, is the melon freeze. Instead of using the watermelon, it uses the green melon, which I'm pretty sure has a name. I just don't remember what Honey the name do. is. Honeydew? Honeydew is... Honeydew? More like a honey don't. <laughs> Disgusting. Because I like honeydew and cantaloupe. And one's green and one's orange. And the orange one is cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is orange. Uh, it, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's honeydew. According to the Thousand and One Cocktails book found on the side of the road, old story, a very refreshing, cooling cocktail for warm summer days. It is the spring, and it was okay outside today. But don't try to make too many at once, as it needs to be kept well frozen. And I actually had... Many things in the freezer for this. I had ice cream in the freezer, vanilla, my Midori, dairy which is free. melon liqueur, dairy free, as well as crushed ice in the freezer. I'm gonna put that all in the blender and see what happens. Let's get started. And I was so hoping I destroyed the orange cocktail before because now I've got the green balloon colors, which will help me with this melon. See, green melon and green balloons. Anyway, uh, remember, I'm the only person who thinks this is cool, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna open up my blender. I'm gonna add my crushed ice onto the inside. You know, they're probably waiting for you to pop your balloons. Maybe. I'll pop the balloons. Here, I'll pop it after the cocktail's done. I didn't mean to do that. All my crushed ice. Uh, actually, it says a little bit of crushed ice. So... Oh, okay. Well, that's a little a lot. So, that's what we're gonna go with. I'm the bumbling bartender. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Everything. Everything. Plenty of things. Anyway, and now I will take two ounces of the chilled Midori liqueur. It is green. It's melony, and apparently Midori is the type of melon that they use to create this particular liqueur. It's extremely sweet. It does not taste like melon to me, and it's incredible. And I'm trying to open the bottle and having a significantly hard time for it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Open. Pop that bottle open. I need two measures of that in my blender. And I'd like to apologize in advance for the sounds that you are about to hear. Might be a little deafening. Honestly, Midori smells more like just straight up sugar and candy. And I you like can the actually. Jolly Rancher. Oh, the Jolly the Rancher is good. Melon baller. The there's another cocktail that I know of called the bubble gum, which uses Midori in one of the recipes. There's two different recipes. And it legitimately tastes like bubblegum. This provides all the sweetness. It's that confectionery, disgustingly sweetness that you get in uh, a lot of the cocktails that you and make. That's why I and, like yeah, and plus it's green, so it's a coloring agent as well. It's it's super tasty. I would absolutely recommend it. Uh, one measure of fresh lemon juice. So I've got one more fruit over here, and lo and behold, it happens to be a lemon. So I'm gonna cut that up and give myself. What's that? Did you just ask if lemon is a fruit? I'm tired. It's late. I'm drunk. You have no excuse. I have an excuse. Sure. Anyway, I get an ounce of that. I'm going to pour that in there. Over there. I need an ounce of the lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze that as much as I can. It'll probably just be the entire lemon. Ooh, that is... That is a tough lemon. That is a very tough lemon. So that's about half an ounce. Pour that in. Dump my lemon over. Squeeze that out. Another lemon. Um, though it doesn't matter how much it is, uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, so I'm just gonna squeeze it. Right on my blender. My blender. Squeeze our blender. Our blender. Acceptable for now. Acceptable. I'll take it. Anyway, that's my melons. That's my le melons? Lemons. And then I will take an entire scoop of ice cream. Specifically, vanilla ice cream. Uh, I've got Oatly. It's dairy-free because Anna's a bit lactose intolerant, so uh, I want to make sure. 
After removing this wrapper, you will eat this product. Please don't ask us how we can possibly see in the future. It's a gift. <laughs> I love it! Alright, whoa, okay, well that's broken all over the place. Alright, Oatly, ice cream, vanilla. Mm, mm. Um, that's paper. Mm, mm. Uh, I'm gonna scoop it out with a spoon. Where's my spoon at? There's, there's my spoon. Let's put a scoop or two in here. Oh, that is extra. Well, um, there's one. And let's do another. That is incredibly easy to scoop. Uh, you know what? Let's put a third in there. Yeah, I'm into it. There we go. Oh, I taste it. Mmm. Doesn't break it yet. Good ice cream. You want some? There you go. Go ahead. Here, take, take the whole thing. There we go. The next ingredient, I can already tell this is gonna taste very nice. A little crushed ice, I already had the crushed ice in there, and that's that. And I blend that. I blend it until fine. Ooh, that's good. It's very good, right? I completely agree. I think it's incredibly tasty. Yeah, it's a little sweet. Right, the the melon liqueur, the lemon juice, the vanilla ice cream, the crushed ice, and then I do the blender, please. Ear warning, here we go. <laughs> Beautiful. That's my cocktail. And I'm going to put that in my cocktail glass. I've got a margarita glass. I It's not going to fill it to the top. If it does, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Oh, you're going to uh, be concerned. I doubt it will be. It smells... It smells like Midori, mostly. But I also smell the vanilla in there a bit. It's. I think this will be very enjoyable and difficult to drink. Ooh, that, that was gushy. Wow. Wow, look at that. Totally fills up the whole cup. That's incredible. It looks like Shrek. Sounds like, seems, looks like a challenge to me. Uh, and I, I'm the kind of person who really likes a challenge. So uh, here we go. It's beautiful. Any garnishes for that? Oh yeah! That's why I have, I got some green melon over here that we're gonna garnish it with. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wait, you didn't use the melon for the actual drink? No, no, it's only a garnish. The melon, the, the actual melon itself is purely for the garnish. It goes on the side, so I'm going to give it a little, I'm going to give it a little cut, and I am just going to pluck that on the side. This is the Melon Freeze. Looks like Shrek. Looks like Shrek. And now what they do as well is they said what you should do is another form of garnish. You could take some of the green from this, maybe take a little bar spoon, give a little bit of that, and you're going to garnish it on top with a little bit more green. That sounds better. Maybe a little bit of green. It really doesn't do anything, but it's sweet, it's tasty, it's beautiful. It's melon. It's sweet, it's tasty, it's melon. I like melon. Uh, let's see how it actually tastes with everything inside. Uh, let's see. Wow, that's incredible. What does it taste like? It is like lemon. It tastes like lemonade. It tastes like a very, like the sweetest lemonade that you could have possibly imagined. Go ahead, give it a try. I really can't taste a lot of the melon in there, but that's just because Midori, I think, in my opinion, is really, really sweet and not much melon. It's very, very good. It tastes <laughs> like, like lemonade ice cream almost I want with this. with the sweetness. Oh, and are you gonna take it from me? No. I'll, I'll take it back eventually, but it's it's super tasty. I would totally recommend that. And this is my final drink of the night, so I just want to let everybody know, uh, in case you're wondering, I'm gonna put uh, um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna put the, all my video backups are on YouTube somewhere. You can check my YouTube channel for that in the comments or in the actual description of the video. I will put recipes to every single cocktail that I've made tonight on there with proper credit due. I actually I saw somebody on the internet yesterday. Make a cocktail inspired by Bioshock Infinite and made it seem like it was their own recipe and they did not give credit where credit was due. Like somebody else had made it before with the exact same recipe and I was sickened by that. If you take other people's work or you take inspiration from it, cite your resources. Like, come on, man. You didn't make it. You don't deserve the credit. You, I mean, you deserve the credit for making it, but the person who deserves the most credit is the person who invented it, in, in my opinion. Uh, rant's over. 
Anyway, I'll be posting all these in the comment below, the description below, as well as I'll be posting on my Twitter too. If you want to check that, you don't have to. I don't encourage you to. It's a lot of BS on there. So anyway, Anna's got my cocktail. I'm going to go back to the other side of the bar and end the... This will be my last Valhalla stream for a while until I gain the motivation to play this one again. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be playing afterwards, but we'll see. I'll replace it with another visual novel. We'll see about that. Overall, I'd like to thank everybody so very much for coming along and helping me out. Coming to, little, coming to my little bar setup over here. I enjoy it. If you like it, like it. If you don't, I'm going to keep doing it anyway. So I don't really care. I'm enjoying myself. Anyway, back to the other side. Oh, but before I go. Oh. Mmm. Green melon. I thought you didn't like honeydew. I like melons. Mic off. I'm drinking here. Clap, clap. And we're back on this side of the screen. Time to do a switchy switch. Switching the cameras. There we go. Cameras haven't fixed. Uh, deactivate, reactivate. I'm saying words. Live stream switch. Da, da. There we go. And we're back on this side. And Anna, I know you love it. Would you like some of it in a tiny glass? Yes. Well, grab the tiny glass. It's tasty. See, as I mentioned before, I... I wanted to make these cocktails to figure out what what my fiance likes. And every, if technically, statistically speaking, if I do every single cocktail on the book, she's bound to like some of them. I like Midori. Midori is good. I'll put it in a tiny wine. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Do you want the, the uh, funnel? I don't want to make a mess. Little funnel. Little funnel. That's why we got the funnel over here. You come to my house, I give you food. I give you food, I give you a cocktail. This is my funnel. This Why my would you blow into it? Because it's my it's, it's funnel. Woo! There okay, we go. that's fresh. There we go. You, you, you're good. There we go. That'll that'll get in there. That's a little thick. Ooh, that's pretty thick. Anyway, enjoy that funnel. And while you enjoy that funnel of cocktail, I'm gonna go over here, back to the Valhalla's. I have. I've fallen behind. Look at that. Oh, but this Fedori cocktail. Oh, that calls to me. That is absolutely delectable. And this, the Hawaiian Blossom. Would you double? It's so great in another way. I love cocktails. I really... The, the whole reason I wanted to stream Valhalla was so I had a proper excuse to also make cocktails in between my game runs. So can we mark... What was it? Your watermelon? I like the two melon one. And I like the watermelon. Noted. I have I have a mess of a desk right now, but that's okay. I will clean it later. Um, Jill say I'll leave the. Uh, I already read that, so it's time to go to work. One more episode, one more night of Valhalla, and that's where I will end this series for now. Unless I play New Game Plus, I don't exactly know what that entails. So, dot 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 say Jill. Jill say dot dot dot. Well, let's see. Gil is in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. And they only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to go pick it up myself, so. Are you alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute now. Relax, relax. Everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Drink something. Maybe that'll cheer you up, you know? Maybe. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but chin up. Keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you, I, I, I don't know, a hug. Uh, does that work? A, a hug? A big one. A reward for 
after everything's said and done. Gotta go! You can do it! Right. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this all these years. Now it's time to face it. Head on. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Um. Hello. Gabby. This is the song, Everything Will Be Okay. Or Where Do I Go From Here? That's the song. Perfect. Okay. Uh, come in. Excuse me. Welcome to Vault. Uh, hey, oh, it, uh, you talk first. No, no, I. Uh, well, some days ago, I got a letter. Even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. Uh, what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I, I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's read it. All right, then. Sorry. It's just... Just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? This is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep. And appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all these problems, it just... After all these years, not talking to her, she sends me a letter. A fucking letter of all things. And she just says, sorry? Sorry for what? Uh, for our fight? For, for not talking all these years? Ah, now I'm fucking pissed. Are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I remember... I remember all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day. And you were pissed about the lack of a 3. Or that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table. She sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her head. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, I guess she had all the rights to brag, because it certainly worked. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from... Localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart. Yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more... Focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and... Call it a day, but... Organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently she suffered like that since she was 18, but you kept it a secret from everybody. Why? Hell if I know. I was angry to learn that she even had it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart. 
every three days. Apparently, the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark. And the rejection was what ended up killing her. Nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her. They couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctor said she might have missed the shot, or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker, and uh, the condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere. Maybe it was blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack, and the rejection acted afterward. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive, and... Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. And... Thinking about what-ifs won't bring her back. Huh? I spent so much time hammering myself with what-ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to the Research Institute thing back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed it at you the other day. And uh, But today, I realized something. I Having such regrets with the dead is such a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you. I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her. Like an ap I can apologize to you right now. Jill, Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she only... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn together. If we're to honor her, we'll do it together. 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 Lenore was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is to try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask, though, did she really start to complain about chest pains shortly after I left? No. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She, she did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Relatable. Oftentimes, you know, heart attack symptoms are confused with heartburn and the like, which I've experienced. Gods, even I blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you, you know? We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you earlier, so... Uh, let's just call that water under the bridge, shall we? You sure? Of course I am. So, how did you find me exactly? Uh, oh, um, well... Have you heard of a messaging board called danger you i have yeah i read it daily well truth is that i visit it from time to time and the other day i read a thread that discussed the bar and the description of the bartender sounded just like you are you mad no no not mad more like just completely dumbfounded Hey, Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, um, well, back then, 
I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. That would have been the end of it. And then after graduating, I got a really good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me and my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much, like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future, and she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. And not like I didn't think about the, that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. And, but the thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. And I loved her. I don't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to times, you know? Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to her being with me. And that was partly because she was the one who was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it was the best for me, but what about my freedom, my say on the matter? So that's where you stopped loving Lenore? No, no, no. I, I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you, you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job that I hate just out of routine. Getting used to it. I wanted a break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself. Think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I sometimes felt the same. Although I'm not even in college. So that's what led to you to fighting, huh? <laughs> well, you know, the word fight makes it sound like we exchanged, like, blows or something. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she would have lashed out at me. She wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head, talked about like that with her. My sister said something like that. Huh? I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her to the end, but instead I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself so much onto her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> You're quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You were supposed to be mature when you know. Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us too? No, no, it's just... <sighs> Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? But my sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But 
I faced her back then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I came up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds so stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes anything easier, but I will never get to speak to her again. And it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear you and my sister were meant for one another. You both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. And like I said, berating myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah. She was an amazing person. Huh. Morning is fine and all. But we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that she, there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told me you that. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So let's have a toast in her honor. Shall we? A toast? Yeah. Let me get you a drink. A drink? Yeah, don't don't worry, trust me. Something sweet. Let's go with the sugar rush. It's sweet. She'll enjoy it. It don't need no alcohol. It's sweet, just like this melon. This melon drink. Very sweet, but also rather alcoholic. So there's that. Grab this for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Lenore, I know you're watching from beyond right now. As I gave a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman, just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey! Want to add anything? Um... I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me, say it to her. Say it to Lenore. That's a bit... Come on, just say it. Just this once. I'll always miss you, sis. Sis. Sis, you idiot! Why did you keep that secret for so long? You're such an idiot! Such an idiot! I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You're an idiot! Idiotic idiot! <sighs> Chill, promise me you won't be like that, knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And promise me we won't fight? I, I can't do that. Huh? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later, we're gonna clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults that we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. Hey, did you mean what you said? That you'll look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm... I'm not Lenore, but... 
I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. And to all the relationships out there that ended way, way too early. Things that could have blossomed into something even more beautiful than they already currently are. I've had relationships like that in my life. No, continue. Cheers. Cheers! Um, so... About this drink. Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. We might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Right. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister give you a beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was April Fool's, and I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. <laughs> I put bubblegum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. She walked funny, and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer, and it turned out to be an apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Oh, well... I did hide all the dildos in the house that night, only to find that she knew how to use a cucumber. As a follow-up, she used the same cucumber in a salad days later. She said, So you like eating me for lunch? Jill, I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Hey, Gabby, do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Clary's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Clary knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Oh, of course. Uh, how would she cover for me otherwise? True, true. Very true. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clary doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I live nearby, and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me tonight? Are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough, at least to spend the night. Sure. I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your still does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand. I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. The guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District has almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian. Mark one for daddy. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled Sweet Victory. <laughs> Your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society and in her circle of friends, a lesbian daughter was a no no. I'm still on my sister's side for that one, though. Mom didn't reject her because she herself was homophobic, she did it because her friends were. To mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? I don't know. 
Mom and dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married. So there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't shown up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. I did. But I'm not alone anymore, thanks to you. Huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. Alma, over here. Party? A small New Year's celebration. Do you want to stay for it? I, I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You'll only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma, come over here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. And her name is Gabby. What a beautiful way to end a lovely little story quest. Make up with the younger sister. Beautiful. Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartending action. And then credits roll. Yay! Thank you, dearest. I see, I feel more or less the same way now as I did when I completed this game the first time. Oh, that's the enter key. Nope. Uh, is there a way to, I guess there really isn't any way to skip through this and whatnot. I feel more or less the same way now that I did the first time I played this game. As I've kind of mentioned before, when I completed this game the first time, it was kind of a pretty rough points in my life so far things got a lot harder things got a lot more curious uh confusing i ditched most of my hobbies and at that point i had realized i had ditched most of my hobbies and i felt terrible about it i was way too focused on schoolwork i was way too focused on work work and i realized wow i'm not happy at all what do I do about this? And played a little more video games, specifically this video game in particular. Uh, played a little more of this, read a couple more books, did a little more hobbies, started drawing, started painting, started reading, all that stuff. And it kind of gave re kindled in me this appreciation of the parts of life itself that I kind of ditched for this idea of success. The idea that you gotta complete your college career, you gotta get your degree, you gotta get a good job, you gotta get paid many monies, and then after that, only after that, will you be happier in your life because you're making the money to support your family and yourself, and it's all about the money, 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 and the work, 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 and I, there was something about that that did not rub me the right way, and I, you know, games like this kind of opened my eyes for something like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is totally just a video game, but... Some of the things that it brings up kind of asks you about questions of life, kind of asks you about questions of existence. Are you really enjoying what you're doing? What does it mean to be successful in life? I'm not so sure. Maybe it just means that you're happy. Maybe it just means that you make a lot of money. Maybe it just means that you are occupied 100% of the time and have no time for anything that you wanted to do because you are that kind of person to give yourself up for society. And if that's the case, then that's great. Did I have fun? Yeah. I had fun. I've played this game tw two times over. I really, really enjoy this game. I also got to meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you, though? Fun stuff. Probably because Stella showed up to the party and whatnot like that. And She's, uh, what kind of person? Now, nah, let's see. You're dozing off back there. Really... Really great game. A absolutely wonderful. I feel like a lot of visual novels do not get the credit that they deserve. And I don't play a lot of visual novels, but this was good. I really, really enjoyed this one. And I just realized the lights are way too late. It's drowning out my face. I look so drowned out. I need some foundation on. But alas. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. That's that. Sukeban Games, 2016. Gracias, Peluche.
Wonderful. I liked this game the first time, and I thoroughly enjoyed it the next time. And now it's all on tape. It's all recorded. Which I'm happy with. I enjoyed it. Ultimately, that I mean, if you're playing your games and you're not enjoying it, why are you playing the game? If you're enjoying it, then that's perfect. That's the whole point of it. I think that's the whole point of video games. Just enjoy yourself. Philosophy opened my eyes. It was beautiful. Wednesday, February 1st. <sighs> to think I'd be evicted. They all pretty ruthless. They don't even allow you to skip one month. I was two months late already, actually. <sighs> Jill, Jill. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? Right? About that. Forget it. I don't want to hear. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think what to do next. Yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here, by the way. Whoa! Your bed is huge! A queen size, considering I lived with a guy for at least four years, it can get... Lonely, but also really comfortable, just like single life, I guess. Hope you don't mind sleeping with me, but there's not enough space for the futon in here. I haven't slept in a mattress in, fuck, over two years now. That can be good for you, Bach. And bad for my morale. Anyways, good night. Nighty night. Achievement. Cozy Hill. Get evicted from my apartment, but stay the night with Alma. Ooh! It's hot in here. Having her hug me certainly doesn't help. <laughs> oh. I don't want to wake her up either. She looks so comfortable right now. I wonder if Boss would have let me crash in her place. Oh, well. Let's just try to sleep a bit and... Mwah. Meow. No, for Go away. No, you piece of fur. Don't you dare sleep on my fa- <sighs> Oh, I can now save heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen or bar will let you start over from day one while keeping your items and money. Thank you for playing. It's- it's heart. It's- Heart data. I'll replace the last one with that. I'm at the same point, but- this was almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. All right. That's Valhalla by Sukebon Games and Isbrard Games. I I love this game. It taught me about cocktails. It made me appreciate my hobbies. It brought me back into things. This game is incredibly important to me, and I absolutely love it. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do after this for my cocktail games i'll probably play another visual novel based off of an anime that i enjoy this isn't based off of an anime but maybe the next one will be i've been taking a look at steins gate i like that one that's a really good anime if you haven't watched steins gate i highly recommend it it's kind of sciencey kind of fantasy e bananas you like bananas steins gates for you i really enjoyed this i i love this game i've said it already before and i'll say it again I like it. I, I love playing games like this that kind of get you engrossed in the story. I love... Hell, I made some cocktails to it, just like a bartender would. Mm. Green melon. Very, very tasty. I mean, ultimately, I always know that I have a good time. If you had a good time, feel free to let me know if you want to. I'd love to do more stuff like this. It's fun. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for tonight. That's my live stream for the evening. It's about 12.30 now, Eastern Standard Time. I had a blast. I had some cocktails. It was good. I'm not drunk, per se. I have a rather high tolerance, so it's kind of a blessing and a curse as well. I wonder if there's anybody else going on right now. I'd love to, um, love to see who's on. Let's see who there is to raid. It looks like... My buddy Eric, who was on here before, is playing some League of Legends. It's completely different than what we are doing now, but, you know, you support you support your friends. That's what you do. Support your friends. Support your coworkers. I hope everybody had a wonderful rest of the night. What a raid. 
Dark Techie Network here. He's playing some League. I played a little team fight tactics. I get it. I totally get it. For those who, all those who want to, feel free to do so. My name is Cameron. Cameron spelled with an X. Cameron with an X. I'll have a video of this up on YouTube later. I got a Twitter. I want to post all the cocktail recipes that I made. I made the Huatusca Whammer. I made the Watermelon Man. I made the Hawaiian Orange Blossom. And I made the Melon Chiller, I believe, tonight. All from my 1001 Cocktails book that I found on the side of the road. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, cool. Awesome. If you didn't, no problem. Perhaps I'm not your cup of tea, and I completely understand that. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, let's give Eric a warm welcome. Dark Techie. He's awesome. I work with him. How can I not like him? And for the Raiders, go for it. Off we go. Boo! Right now. And for everybody watching the vid at the VOD back after the fact, love y'all. Thank you so much for your support. I do this mostly for the fun of it, but I'm happy to know that there is at least one person out there that is also entertained by stuff like this. If I'm able to entertain, honestly, that's really all I could ask for. I smile during these games, and if I can make you smile during these games, that's the best. Honestly, I don't know what else I could possibly ask for. And maybe that's to be just drunk me talking, and honestly, it feels good. feels good in the heart, so I'm going with it. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the night, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. My name is Cameron, spelled with an X. Until next time, love y'all. So long. Bye.